Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Dragonlance, Shadow of the Dragon Queen. Uh, I'm your Dungeon Master, Kelly. I'm using him. I'm excited to be here tonight uh, because uh, we weren't here last week because I had a, an incredibly bad case of food poisoning, but I lived. And now you have to watch us play D&D. That's the rule, right? Okay. Um, so thank you so much for being patient, everybody. The missing Dragonlance was one of the worst parts of being sick. On top of all of the other gross stuff I had to deal with, that was the heartbreaking thing, because I love this game and I love playing with all of you, and it is so great to be back. Um, unfortunately, uh, with us tonight is not uh, Christine. She's feeling under the weather. Thankfully, it's something different. She doesn't have what I had, um, but she is going to be monitoring the chat and uh, and resting. But she'll be back next week, so we send our best wishes to her. Um, if you are joining us for the first time tonight, uh, welcome. This is Dragonlance Shadow of the Dragon Queen, which is a module uh, that takes us back to the world of Kryn. Uh, last time, the characters participated in a mock battle, and, uh, well, it turned out to be not so mock. And we're going to be dealing with the fallout of that later tonight. But first, we're going to do a quick round of introductions, any announcements, and then we're going to hop into game. Uh, so why don't we jump over to have Chris say hello since uh, Christine's not here. Hi. Uh, yeah. Oh, gosh. First, that's uh, your first. That's a first. Um, I'm uh, Chris. I use uh, he, him, or they. And uh, I uh, am can be found exclusively here on Dork Tales. Um, I play Godfrey Hive. Valor slam Nia's ass, uh, apparently with a magic rod, according to the intro. Uh, uh, we, we, yeah. Squire of Salamnia. Uh, and uh, this level, you just got your subclass. Oh, uh, Battlemaster. Going Battlemaster, going to master, be, uh, gonna master some, some battles. maneuvers. Pulling some some sick maneuvers, you might say. It's a Master maneuver. Battler, as it were. Master Battler. Thanks, Jen. <laughs> nice. All right. Um, let's pass down to starting Robin. Strong. That's starting strong. <laughs> yep. Hello, everyone. I'm Robin. I use she, her pronouns. I'm also second gen gamer in the chat. And I play Razira Moonbrush, our Kender swashbuckling rogue, um, because boy i want to be my own sneak attack i don't need no one to sneak attack i know strong, people want me to take in character, but i already had swashbuckler rogue in my mind so uh yeah strong, independent kendler kender who don't need no uh no flank um what what do they want you to take no flank arcane trickster because with the main mm, chance that's fair everyone that's was fair. on me i was i debated it but i'm like no nah, i want to i want to do my i want to be my own best sneak attack that that's fair also you're, you've been shanking people so um i've been people. shanking people but also i am amassing my horse you, battalion. you learned uh you learned that from ispen because he was always like shanks and you were like shanks. Don't have do. yeah I, okay i learned it from <laughs> you dad i learned, I learned it, from, it from, you, from you connery dad um <laughs> all right so uh speak don't even know speaking of learned characters uh surprisingly learned hey cal hi hi how's it going mr. mr lorbard uh you know you don't need to have a high intelligence score to be <laughs> uh barred from the college of lore and that's a good thing because uh orin tiros doesn't doesn't have the highest intelligence he's very he's he's not what we call book smart y yeah yeah he he's learned learned on the road he's worldly, he's worldly. yeah he's worldly Great. he knows what a book is he has got seen one it. in the first game it's true he yeah is, that's right true. you have you uh, he hasn't book. opened it but one day <laughs> one day <laughs> all one right day. Man. And last but not least, uh, let's... Uh, Cal, did you actually introduce yourself? Or did you just talk about... <laughs> I didn't. I just talked... Hi, my name is Cal. Uh, I use he, him. Um, I play Oren Tiros. And uh, he's a Qualanesti elf. And uh, yeah, bard. And the subclass... Uh, lore. So I'm going to try to do my best to uh, make my uh, professors proud. When we do a crossover with Star Trek, you can be a data bard instead. 
Lol. I love Lol. it. Lol. Oh I will. my god. Yeah. You said it now. If that yeah. happens, yep. I'm in. Yeah. If you have it, then Both. we have Brent, Brent Spinner. I'm gonna do the gold Spiner. the gold skin and But yeah. if if he's a data bard in College of Lore, could he be dun, an imposter? Dun, 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 dun. It's in the time for I mean, emergency meeting. Sus. Sus. <laughs> sus. sus. Oh. All right. Speaking of sus. Hi, Jen. Hi. I was going to say that uh, Cal did the very bard thing and talked around to the subject. It's really true. <laughs> right? Just, just getting in character. You're fine. You're fine. Um, hi, I'm Jen. Um, and yesterday in my grad class, I fully almost rolled into this uh, introduction of myself when introducing myself to students in That's class. That's amazing. <laughs> so Because good. I have done this far too often now. Um, I use she, her pronouns. Never. And um, I, I am playing uh, Hazel Knight Gran Granite. Granite? Yep. Knight Granite. Night I Granite? keep wanting to say Nightingale or something like that. Um, Hazel Knight Granite, the uh, lunar uh, sorcerer. Mm -hmm. um, red rope, at least for the time being. <laughs> Uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, <laughs> you threateningly your wearing black that black robes. robe over there. <laughs> You're like, want to trade? Um, well, it's Chris's robe, so like, it's up, up to him. But yeah, yeah, fair. Uh, and uh, Hazel also uses she/her pronouns. So perfect. All right, I got to change it to lunar sorcerer instead of moon sorcerer, which is what I have on your pre-roll. I, I, I like moon fair. sorcerer. In the name of the moon, I will hammer you. <laughs> I did yep, put exactly. Moon Prison Power into the into the chat, and now I think that is just this character because I have the the <laughs> hammer. Yep. Moon Prism Power. Oh, In, until Hasbro gets mad, but uh, we're not talking about Hasbro. We're, we're deliberately so. not talking about that, folks. Good uh, job. It only took six minutes until <laughs> to not talk about. I that. just fully forgot the connection there for a second and was just thinking big corporation Sailor Moon. <laughs> So that's fair. All right, fair enough. Because I have um, ADHD and I make dumb connections. Yeah, like literally half the cast here has ADHD. I love it. Um, uh, we have so much AD that it's not HD, it's 84K. Ooh, Ooh yeah, that's a lot of AD. Um, pondering your lunar orb. <laughs> uh, have you tried plugging your Is that orb what they call it nowadays, yeah. eh? I mean, you know nice uh so i folks. did see a tiktok hmm. that was talking about um uh, whether um talking some some fun facts about mage hand and um how you could be very familiar with it so oh, i was gonna say because yeah it's it's five pounds and let me tell you i don't know many people who were throwing more than five pounds around well i guess it depends what hey. it is uh, anyway, uh, folks, we're going to be starting in just a sec, uh, but I want to do a quick announcement. Uh, I wanted to first of all say thank you to our friends at ping.gg who are allowing us to broadcast in super high quality vision where you can see all of our pores and hopefully see how pretty some of us are and how acceptable looking the rest of us are. You pick who's who. Um, it's me. I'm the acceptable one. Um, Oh, I'm accepted. I'm accepted. And I like that. Um, so thank you so much, Ping. Uh, if you want to stream in, in high quality up to 4K video, uh, go to ping.gg. They're awesome people. Uh, it's a fantastic startup from a team member of ours, and, and we cannot thank them enough. Uh, I also have to thank all of our patrons at patreon.com slash dorktales for allowing us to do this because this is a full-time gig. Um, it is literally like a 40 to 60 hour a week job that I'm way behind on thanks to last week. Um, so if you want to help things uh, like this continue, please go to patreon.com slash dorktales and sign up where you can get a bunch of additional games like uh, the Radiant Citadel, which is going to be ran by Robin if you're into D&D. &D. But if you want to branch out to other systems, Jen is about to start running a Mage the Ascension Technocracy, which is a World of Darkness game uh, at the end of the month that I'm playing in. So uh, you get to see that up to three months in advance uh, by joining the Patreon at our $5 here. Uh, besides that, um, I'm really excited. This is the first Dragonlance of 2023, and we are going to start uh, pushing through this. Um, this is going to be a fantastic game, and uh, the last announcements that I have are... I think that's it, actually. I think we've got uh, Dorktales Expo coming up in a couple of months, which is our private convention, but... Uh, well, I guess a public convention, but it's like a little, like, internet convention. Um, but I think that's about it. Did anybody else have any announcements? I don't think so. No, you you hit you hit technocracy, so hit that's technocracy. good. Yeah, mm -hmm. and uh, there's some there's some new games that are going to be up if we hit 150 patrons and 175, and then some special things. New games, 200. new games, new games that won't be ran by that's me. Exciting. 
but I get to play in them. What? Yeah. No. Shocking. How are you? But forever DM. Yeah, I know, right? Uh, all right. So if that's all we oh, have yes, here. Yes, um, Nicole Drake. 2023, time for Kender Uprising. Yes. Kender Uprising. Uh, and Robin, one, I just want to say real quick, um, thank you for being a, like a great Kender. Because everybody, when they heard that Kender were coming back, freaked out. Like, there mm-hmm. was so much hate. And I'm like, eh, just trust your players. Yeah, yeah you're we're welcome. Not, also, I... we're not 15 anymore. I say that all <laughs> yeah. the time. You say that. And, but... and I mean, you you don't you don't get invited into this sort of arena, is how I'm going to phrase that, uh, with, you know, by being a jerk and ruining things for everyone. You can by say being an awful cloister. In a cloister. Welcome to the cloister. In a cloister. Uh, mm. Cloister than an oyster. That's right. Um, <laughs> all right. So without that, that on that shining note, uh, let yeah. us hop back in to Dragonlance, Shadow of the Dragon Queen. Um, and as we do, I just want to quickly remind you all that you were able to rescue three war horses last episode. So please add three war horses to your inventory or however you want to do it. Maybe name them. Um, yeah, you didn't think about that, did you? Can we just pack them into the Kender's pouch? <laughs> <laughs> no, I rolled for it. And Aww. No. no, okay. Aww. Okay. And three war horses. Got it. <laughs> the battlefield. The battlefield is an echo in your mind as you make your way back to Vogler. As you travel... You're surrounded by countless wounded, many dead. The good people of Vogler transport all that they can with them, both both ally and enemy alike. The priority, of course, is to get to get their own people to safety, but the good-hearted people here are not above or not below, I suppose, taking care of those who wish them harm. Among the villagers, among the uh, the members that were present at the militia, uh, among those who were uh, standing and watching, you'll notice that there's a bit of a whisper campaign going on directed at Kalara, which can only mean that her use of divine magic, even through the fray of battle, was witnessed. As you're brought back to town, Mayor Raven and Becklin, of course, urge the villagers to return with you. The, you and the others who were in pretty good shape, um, Derrett and, um, and uh, uh, Levna, uh, as well, were able to transport the remainder of the villagers back down to the south into Vogler. And though the way back is tense, there are no further threats. And soon you'll find yourselves back in the simple comfort of Vogler. As you entered its front gates, Mayor Raven, Cudgel, and Becklin asked you to join them at the Brass Crab while Derret and the other villagers tend to the wounded. Kalara, of course, offered to go with them. And soon you found yourself there inside of the Brass Crab. The place was empty, devoid of everyone except for the Brass Crab's owner, Yalme, who had prepared the common room for a night of celebration. There's still food placed out, still tons of tankards of ale empty ready to be poured from kegs still food loaded out and well inside now it's just you and the village leaders as soon as the door shuts mayor raven gestures for you to sit around and cudgel and becklin move a couple of the heavy tables over to form a large planning space Mayor Raven looks as pale as she can manage. Her skin has an ashy complexion to it. Uh, 
All right. Thank you for coming here. I've sent a number of villagers that can be trusted to watch themselves back to the hill to recover the bodies of those who didn't make it. Kajal, we need to find out what happened. Why did the ironclad regiment attack? And that's Kajal's mercenary group is the uh, one. It's that my was mercenary active. group. <clears throat> and to say I'm right pissed off is to say I'm right pissed off is just the least of it. We've got some good news on that, though. Don't we? Don't we, Raven? It's true. On our way back, Becklin and I were able to subdue one of the mercenaries. He's being transported here now. We're going to... We're going to interrogate him and find out what other dangerous plans might be afoot and whether or not the other mercenaries are a danger. I just can't believe this has happened. Kajal says. My people. Shit! She kicks the table loudly, causing a little bit of water that had just been set down by by the innkeeper to topple over. Can, uh, is there an opportunity to do an insight check on, uh... Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. go ahead. Yeah. Awesome. Just, you know, you never know. Oh, six. Six? She's so pretty pissed. All right. Okay. I need to get back. I need to find out if the rest of my troops are alive, or if there's an entire coup. After we interrogate whoever you brought back. Uh, then, I'm, then I'm gonna head back. If they've betrayed me, oh, I'm gonna find out even if it kills me. You shouldn't go back. Not by yourself. I'll, fuck you, I'm not going back by myself. I was foolish enough to trust some of these bastards. And if they're going to kill anybody, it's just gonna be me. What if we? Sorry, I'm I'm doing your accent a little bit. What? What if we accompany you? A little bit extra muscle? No, I'm going by myself. This village needs people inside of it. What if they send spies in? What if they send someone to murder the mayor here, or Becklin, or just to set fire to the inn? No, I'm going back by myself, and you can't stop me. Well, before I need a drink. you do go, sir, before you do go, might I inquire as to what what would be the the end goal of attacking a small hamlet such as this? I suppose we're going to find out from that mercenary fuck. It's yeah, we are. Well, well, we'll be able to get them soon. Backlin is going to lean forward. Do, do we have a... I, I'm hoping it's not, but... Do we have a little bit of a... a do we have a, a casualty? Uh, a number? Do we know how many people we've... We're, we lost because of this? We and why, why would be the goal? I'm not certain, Becklin says. Vogler has very little um, military... Vintage. There's very little reason to strike here. We are quite near um, Kalamar, but even then, there are better places for that. I've heard rumors of. I've heard rumors of something traveling up the coast, though. Something coming from different reports say the east or the west, but from the Southlands. 
And as far as casualties, we'll not know that until... Yeah, until the medical tents send word, at least a dozen. Uh, hopefully Kalar is able to reduce that number. Yes, I suppose it's in the hands of the gods now. <laughs> do you think it had anything to do with this, Ben? Yeah. I mean, it's a bit... It, it, his funeral here and then the festival right after it, it just, it all seems too coincidental. It He's seems convenient. Probably made some enemies along the way. But the man's already dead. Hmm. This, if this was about him, it would be. It wouldn't be at striking his friends during a reenactment. Hmm. No, I guess not. I wonder if it is related to that other unexpected fight you all had. The bodies, yes. I was wondering the same thing. Those creatures. Oh! If you there saw is... them in the flesh. Or whatever they the... were. Yes, or you... in, in the stone. Well. Did they speak? I... I... Did they speak to us when they were fighting? I forget. They, it's been a, a hot minute. Bit, a little bit. They kind of growled and like gave you some like, um, they they kind of shit talked you, but they were speaking in a language you didn't understand as well. So like they did, they a couple of them did shit talk you in common. Uh, in common, when you, were, when you were approaching, they were speaking some strange kind of kind of language. Yeah, like a rasping rec I mean, reptilian tongue. They, they talked in their own language, of course, that was a bit, I mean, I couldn't understand it. It sounded like, <laughs> but they did shit talk us a little bit in, uh, in common as well. So they do speak the common tongue, but also their weird language. So they were not just monsters then. They were intelligent. I mean, it's, it's intelligent as some lizard creature, monster dragon people could be, yeah? Intelligent enough to, you know, insult you, trash talk you. Great. Yeah. If it is an army, the only strategic value I can see with with Vogler is that it would a decent supply of food. Could be a good. And you're on the river. Area. And you're on the river, and you have that old. Sorry, I don't mean to be rude, but you have your old fortress, I guess. Thornwall Keep is not, um, well, I would say it's not particularly, um, defensible. But, um, perhaps I just don't... Why Vogler? You're not, like, hidden under some, like, weird, like, source of resources or, or treasure or... Or, or weapon or anything, right? I know of. The only magical <gasps> artifact that I believe that we have is the one in your possession, Godfrey. Well, I'm not one to speak. <sighs> not one to speak upon exactly the motivations of these creatures, but I do know that for most mercenaries, their motivations lie with with coin. And if we follow yes. that trail, yes, we could find answers ourselves. But, uh, I'm quite good should... at finding things. I could we could definitely find the answer. <laughs> you are good at finding things. On that note, the, I'm just going to check my pockets. I don't think the answer will just make its way into your pouch, though. Unfortunately. Would, but it was so you easy. never know. Riz is going to start rummaging through her pouch. <laughs> All right. Do Roll. you have, uh, on, on your chart, do you have the answer? Just kind of, it's a piece of oh paper my that God. says the yeah, answer it's number on 67. It. If you roll 67, you'll know the answer. <laughs> 18. That is not 67. Uh, 
You were supposed to psych him out and be like, no out, way. Um, a, a, first, uh, a first place medal for a juggling competition. I don't think it's just a juggle. I get, maybe we have to juggle things around? I've seen you juggle mm. before. It's true, but I don't know how that's going to help us right now. I, I guess my answer is not in my pouch. No. At least not yet. Cudgel. Hey. Are you going to uh, help us question your um, oh. ex-employee? Uh, I, I think we're going to perhaps talk about some severance. None of that. Mate. It'll be good to have an idea of what you're going into if before you leave. I... All you know, we have uh... to do now is a banging at the front door. Hello? You hear Levna's voice come through the door. We've got a special oh. delivery here. I'll go over and open okay. the door. Uh, so you pull the bolt back and open the door, and a torrent of rain kind of comes in at your at your boot level. And uh, Levna is there with uh, a couple of really banged up members of the village guard, uh, dragging a uh, dragging a mercenary with a sackcloth bag pulled over his head. His arms are bound roughly in rope. Got him. Where do you want him? This chair, please. She comes in, slamming the door behind her. Levna sits him down, ties him to the chair, and rips the uh, the bag off of his head, uh, revealing a human man uh, of about, about 30, um, scraggly blonde hair, a beard that's still struggling to grow in in patches, um, and a number of cuts and bruises over his face, including a split lip and a swollen eye. He has a large scar that's bisecting his lips and uh, is missing one of his front teeth where it looks like he took either an arrow or maybe a knife to his mouth. Not recently, though. Sort of. He'll grumble as the bag comes clear and Cudgel is going to surge forward um, unless anybody catches her. Uh... Riz will try. Okay, She's can you make very a, small. Give me a con contested strength check. Oh boy, will I will try. try. That's okay. Try okay, go ahead. <laughs> both, of you can, uh, I, both of you can. I, I was going to say, I'm expecting this, so. Wow, Razira rolled a 19, so that's okay. 19. <laughs> nice. Uh, strength check. Um, It's well, 22. strength athletics. Okay. Oh, strength athletics. Sorry, mm -hmm. oh. uh, that is uh, twenty-four. Then twenty-four. Okay, uh, that is a seventeen for me. Okay, she rolled a total of eight. Uh, so uh, she's going to lunge for it. I'll fuck you to uh, fucking destroy you. I'll take you, you son of a bitch. Spill it. <laughs> we need answers Agile. first, Captain. What's that? He's going to say and hawk some blood down onto the floor. All right. Fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Svilt Sunderland. Too bad that you couldn't have caught somebody with a bit of sense or rank. This little piss ain't. I'm fine. Are, are you sure? Are you sure you don't want to just like maybe take like a five minute walk? Go down to like the bakery, grab yourself. I don't need any food. Okay, but I'm a little hungry. Do you, would you mind grabbing me a pie? Make me a persuasion roll. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to continue to hold casual <laughs> to just be like 22? 22? <laughs> you can get your own damn pie, but I'll just watch. 
and she'll take a step back and sit nearby, turning a chair around so that she can keep an eye on both the door and on this prisoner. Mayor Raven turns and looks at you. You're adventurous. I'm assuming that you know how to do something like this. Maybe you have some type of magic. I'm fine with that. Just no... No torture. Please. Of course not. Becklin? Even tickle torture? Uh, uh, tickle tor- Um, I'll kind of look awkwardly at Becklin and Sir Levna. Uh, tickle torture? Does- does that count? I'm afraid I don't know. Um, I would su- I'm not going to weigh in on this. I'm going- if you have this here, I'm heading back to the medical tent. Sir Levna? Yeah, I'll go too, in case you need anybody to watch it. Watch your back up there. Uh, check in on your squire, too. You, uh, have fun with this little piece of shit. Language, sir. Different school. Yes, sir. And with that, the two knights are going to head out, cranking the door open. Hey, Godfrey. Good luck. <laughs> Levna will shut the door behind her, leaving you there with the mare and cudgel. Um, All right. I have a quick out of character question. Yes, please. Um, so, since I have not played a lot of D and D, please. We have not had a long rest, which means like my spells aren't refreshed, right? That is true. Despite leveling up, cool. Um, but I do get my extra spell slots and stuff because yeah. I level. So up. you'll you'll get yeah. whatever whatever awesome. spells those would have generated because that's the way I run D and D. So yeah. the you'll you'll just have sudden insight into those bonus spells. Cool, cool. So I assume that you it. slept for those new spells. <laughs> And same for the hit points, too. We yeah. gain our hit yeah. points. Right. You don't yeah. gain okay. anything cool. back before that, but uh, yeah. you, you get topped off, basically, with that. Um, so looking looking down, you can see that um, he's not only bound with, like, some, like, looks like dockyard rope at his, at his wrists, uh, but uh, his legs are actually bound up with fishing, uh, with fishing nets. So is this the best you can do? better than you did on the hill, I guess. <laughs> Man, you guys... Villagers die easy. I can see why you, uh... why you hide. Nice place. I can't wait till I, uh... until I'm free and have my, pl my run of it. What do you say? Come on. Oh, well... Well... What is this Surely malice? you're not going to rule it without help. Who's helping you? What is this malice that comes from? Were you abandoned as a child? Yeah. Taken in? My mom was, uh, my mom ran away and my, my dad was too busy screwing yours. Oh, well, I severely doubt that. <laughs> <laughs> no, the, the fact that you, you, your parents stuck around long enough for you to have known anything about them. It does feel like classic abandonment issues. Hmm. Lashing out at ev everyone, everything. Just angry at I the lashed world. out at tons of your villagers. A lot of them bled. There was good lashing, if you don't mind me saying so. Even but mercenaries do not have this kind of bloodlust. We all deal with... We the stress in different ways. It's okay. You don't have to pretend that you don't have a heart. It's okay Maybe to I'm... cry. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. I really should cry. I feel so bad about what I've done. I'd like to cast Detect Magic. <laughs> okay. Just Please. to see. <laughs> Sounds good. Uh, casting detect magic. You, uh, Luna. Um, 
Nip, oh, I have subtle has... spell now, so I, I I use a metamagic magic point to subtle okay. spell. You're gonna do that, okay? Yeah. So there is I no magic uh, that you can see around this person. However, you will cool. see that Godfrey's shield is glowing slightly. Cool. So as you are doing that, um, the man still tied the chair. The chair. Sunderlit's going to. <laughs> I should really. I should go. I should. I could have killed more of them. <laughs> ah, go walk off a pier. Riz is gonna take her dagger and just. She's gonna poke him in a very meaty spot, like in the thigh. Okay. With the make dagger. me make me an intimidation roll. Riz. No, 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 no torture, no torture. I told. It's not a torture. Oh, sorry, my dagger slipped. Ooh, that was not great. That's only gonna be a seven. A seven? Okay. Yep. Ow. <laughs> if you're trying to pick my pocket, you little thief, you're a couple inches too low. Oh, I know where it is, but uh, you see, I wasn't supposed to torture you, so I don't really want to hurt you too much, but I do know a little bit about torture, and I could, so, you know, you, you, know, you might want to start talking before we have to resort to something like that. I, I didn't want to have to, to do this, but my fellows, there is an elven technique of wrangling the mind that I may be able to interject and come to the truth of the matter if other means are not available, but I cannot stand by, despite the fact that he is our enemy. I cannot watch others do harm to him, but what? if you would allow me to, I could, As could a, use these elven techniques. What? As a Salamnic knight, I can't allow torture to... Well, actually, you know what? I'm not a knight yet, so I guess it doesn't really count, does it? Wait, what do you mean? What do you mean elven techniques? What? what, do, you, what, do, what do I have your permission, Godfrey, to use this elven technique on him? What do you it will not be painful of the my of the body, but it will be painful of the mind. I assure you. Ooh, I can you. do things painful to the body. So, Orantiros, can you please do me a favor and make me a deception or intimidation roll, uh, <laughs> and with advantage because of Godfrey and Hazel? <laughs> I did just say in the chat that I desperately want to shout, "By the power of the moon, I will punish you!" and cast Moonbeam. <laughs> cast Moonbeam on his kneecap. <laughs> Oh, brand new dice, courtesy of the the dungeon master, everyone. All right. First roll. Here comes the now. Oh, it's at advantage. Nice. Ooh. All right. A two and an eighteen. Yeah, and that eighteen. I good. had just taken intimidation as um, the additional expertise. Oh God. So was that a 26, nice. 28? 24. 24. 24. 24. Ooh, well, don't forget to add your charisma on top of that as well, once you have the expertise. So you should be at 2, 4... 6? Is it only... So what? Your charisma is... Oh! Double yeah, it add your expertise wrong. Sorry. Yeah, that's your proficiency twice if you're, if you're an expert. So you're mm -hmm. at a 26 for this, or something like that? Yeah. That's if your charisma is eighteen, uh, yeah, you're, yeah, you got so, uh, so with expertise. Um, it's this one is twenty-four. It's something else that the expertise. Okay. So oh, gotcha, gotcha. It, it regardless, um, he is going to look up at you, and as you approach, he's. <laughs> I don't want any elf magic, man. I don't want any elf magic. No, I'll, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Just don't, don't, just don't touch me. Don't touch me, you freaky elf. It's too late for that. No, I'll, we know I'll, that I'll, you're I'll, a liar. I'll tell you, okay? I'll tell you. Go on. Gorgonus. It was Gorgonus, the, 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 the ogre captain. Uh, he he was a, he, he was he planned to kill Cudgel and take command of the Ironclad Regiment. Is that the He's one we killed? It. That is the one. Cudgel will nod. A couple days ago, he headed into the wood, uh, kind of west of where we're, we're camping, and he returned with like a big bag of gold, man. 
Yeah. Dragonus is, is a sub-captain, right? So he's got a bunch of us who work directly for him instead of Cudgel. So he took all of us loyal ones, and... and... Well, he... I don't think loyal is a word that I would use to describe you. Loyal to him, at least. Loyal he to hired money. us. Okay, he gave us some of some of the some of the well, is it gold steel coins? To he gave us some of the steel to well to attack during the reenactment thing, and then we were going to raid the town and take all the valuables here. You know very well that the what valuables. The livestock? Anything. Yeah, livestock. There's got to be gold. There's got to be steel. There's got to be stuff in the blacksmithery around here. And where were you going to go with that once you raided this village? C- C- Coin spends the same everywhere. Where did Gurganus come from when he came? Like, where did he? You said he went off into the woods and came back. He went off to the woods. Like, oh, I don't know. That I don't know. He wouldn't say it. He didn't share that bit. It was something to the the woods west. That's all I know there. I, I don't know. Um, uh, nobody at the, the camp. Nobody at the camp's probably going to hurt Cudgel. Most of the ones who stayed back there are aren't with us. It sounds like you're beginning to falter in your memory. I'm sorry, but I must probe your mind. No! You know no! No more. What do you do? Go Arthur? on, then. <laughs> oh. No, I, I honestly don't know. He didn't say. Gregonis Gr- Gr- was, was a real sneaky shit. He, um, he wouldn't share the type of details with anybody. Godfrey's not going to catch on to what Arantiris is doing and kind of actually seriously look worried a little bit when you you come towards him. Just just don't go inside my head, man. I don't don't got anything in there worth taking. I'm just an idiot mercenary, man. I wasn't smart enough to be a miller. Oh, don't you know? He's already in your head. What? No! (laughs) Yeah, he starts trying to bang his head against the side of the chair he's tied to. Uh, hey, I, I, I'm gonna try and hold his head like so he's not hurting himself. <laughs> like you're a real piece of shit, and I want to let you do this, but I, look, man, I've told you everything. Everybody that I know who got paid off was at the reenactment. I'm sure there are some others back at the camp, but most of them are probably loyal. But to Cudgel. Look over at Cudgel. So the camp, that's where he went? Yeah. I think so. But I don't know if they were meeting and traveling through or or what. Perhaps, uh, look look over at Cudgel. Uh, Perhaps uh, we might not be able to, or maybe uh, maybe we can head over there and investigate to the west of the camp. You wouldn't it's mind true. a little um, company if we were heading over there? Do you have any coin on on you from the steel that, because you said he handed out. I mean, not, not much. I've got a bit. Do you want to search him? Yes. Cool. Give me an investigation roll. Cool. Oh my god, this dice. Okay, you're retired. That's an eight. <sighs> okay. Um, you don't find like you don't check his boots or anywhere, but you will see there's a pouch on his hip uh, that's got about uh, sixteen steel coins in it, which a All decent right. Do... decent sum actually. Yeah. Um. Do, because the way that currency works in this... Steel is gold. Crin, yes, but I mean, it's 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 smelted and re-smelted, right? Does it look... Riz is trying to look for differences in the steel to see if there's, like, any idea of where this 
may have come from? Seems like a Salamic mint. A Salamic mint. Okay. So it doesn't seem like it is particularly, um, like, it's not like it has, like, you know, like, evil bad guy picture on it or something like that, or, like, something like that. No, but if it looked, like, slightly, like, shoddily crafted, like, if it was in, like, if it looked, like, more home, home, I will say kind of? that one of the coins looks like it might have been minted in uh, it looks like a Naraki's mint. You're looking for forgeries in the coins. Uh, potentially if 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 someone was hiring someone out they might if they're traveling and had their own steel that they, they smelted down it could have been potentially some sort of forgery but they all look pretty Uniform. There's one that looks like it was from. Did you say near Keys, Kelly? Yeah, from from Naraka. Yeah, one of these looks like it's from Naraka, but it. Other than that, they all look pretty normal. I was just seeing if there's any sort of potential when forgery did, going uh, on. When did your ogre friend come back with the gold, the steel? <laughs> it was uh, it was um. I guess um, about three three days ago. And Cudgel did not notice this? This was a separate group? He goes on walkabout, man. And the lieutenants are in charge of, uh, of keeping perimeter, of taking care of troops. Besides, Cudgel's been all over the place, in and out of town, and then some idiot ate a bunch of mushrooms and got sick. And lastly, <sighs> before I decide whether or not to spare your mind, and your memories. Oh, God! You seemed positively delighted in the killing of the men, women, and, and children. I was just trying to freak you out. I was just trying to act tough. You know, name, rank, serial number, all that stuff. I was just trying to give you give you trouble. Have you remorse? Uh, sure. Is that what you want to hear? I don't believe you. I'm sorry, Godfrey, but this one must go. He has no more in information that is useful to us. And Orantiro slowly stalks towards him as if to grasp. Hey, no, no, look, look, I, no, um, let's just hold off for a moment, okay? Uh, I don't, just, uh, is there anything else we need to ask or like? Um, I've heard, I've heard enough. Kaja will say. What, what, what are you going to do to him? It is not what I was going to do. It's what I've already done. It is called acting. (laughs) (laughs) Riz is just going to burst out laughing manically. (laughs) You son of a bitch! <laughs> and, uh, Godry, can you make Hopefully. me a strength check with advantage? <laughs> what? Oh, make me a strength he check with got advantage. you so good. <laughs> the guy in the chair is going to hurl himself toward Orantiros as best he can. Oh, uh, that's a, uh, a strength check. Uh, yeah. T- natural 20. <laughs> okay. So, 24. so the chair's going to go, and you're just going to, no. <laughs> I'm just going to be like, no, oh, wait, sorry. Wait, wait, come here! Come here! Wait, wait, that, that, there wasn't any weird elven magic, or? Well, you see, it works better if everyone around thinks that, that I'm telling the truth, or plays along. Thank you, Riz. Yeah, uh, you're welcome. It's easy. Hey, I threatened him too. Oh, yeah. but your threats were real. Oh, That's... that is true. It, uh, yes. <laughs> Uh, I've got a technique I like. I mean, I would have him poked him with myself. my dagger several times. That's 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 that's, that's brilliant. Yeah, Does this technique job. involve hurting him? Not in any way. It's going to matter in the morning. And Cudgel's going to scoot over, grab a piece of rope, and cram it into his screaming mouth. <laughs> I've got a sleep spell of my own, and she's just going to deck him across the face. <laughs> Um, as, as, uh, as Kachel does that, um, I don't care if, if this puts the guy unconscious, um, yeah. if Kachel puts the guy unconscious, but I would like to use, 
<laughs> I'm so using my meta magic points for this. Okay, okay, but, go ahead. Uh, or my sorcery points. Subtle spell blindness. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Because I have a free use of that right now. <laughs> that sounds that sounds great. Uh, so she's gonna gonna crank him, and he's gonna like hit the ground, going, "I can't see, I can't see, I can't," and he's just gonna faint. Yeah, that works. The chair is gonna completely go and collapse over when she punches him. Kajal, I don't think that was completely necessary. The mayor will say, "Seemed pretty necessary I to mean me." He, Balance he, of all things. He admitted to hurting, if not killing, several people. I think that is minimum. With zero oh, remorse. So, shall, shall I point out? I suppose that's not technically I... torture. And uh, I'm not technically a knight yet, so. It's We're gonna just put him in a story. Cudgel pun it's just kind of cudgel um, um, disciplining. Her own, her own men. Hey, not anymore. Yeah. You're fired. She spits on him. I like that. I'll have to use that. You're fired. You're fired. <laughs> I'm heading back to my camp to see who many more I have to put to sleep. If you ever, if you want help at all, uh, I wouldn't mind helping putting a few people to sleep myself. And it sounds like there should be some investigating maybe into the west a little bit of the That's camp as well. As well, yeah. I, I know you want uh, to go alone, but... Uh, maybe we should you can deal with your men as you see fit, but we do need to know where that camp is. I... Normally this would be business of Vogler and of the knights, but... You're not coming back to McCant with me. That's not what they're saying, Kajal. They're saying that they need to check out wherever this Gregonis found his benefactor. Yeah, yeah we just need to start yeah. at your camp and go west from there because or that's the only near your camp have. so that we know yeah. where it is. Unless you have a better idea. Away. That's the best lead we have right now. Yeah. I don't want to send anyone, and I don't want anybody to leave the town. I think it's safer if we all stay Good in the village. Good thing we're no one. <laughs> but speak for yourself. I would send I slip into the shadows. I was going to send some hunters in the morning to investigate this anyway, but if you're determined to go and check around, you have my blessing. I I can send Derrett with you as a guide if you need. That would be good. We need to at least see if there's evidence that we could follow. I'll travel um, with you I mean, part no. way. But once we get near my camp, I'm going by myself. If you want to go over to Absolutely. the west. Aye. And then uh, maybe we'll... Your, camp, reason... your, your men, you deal with them as you see fit. We mm -hmm. just need the general direction. Is there yeah, a reason I'm going... We just need a starting point. Aye, there's a reason I'm going Is there a reason... Myself that you wouldn't want us to come to the camp. Aye, because if the camp turns out to be full of ne'er-do-wells and they plan to string me up, you're not going to have too much uh, too much luck either. If one person's going to die, it's going to be me for trusting them. But you would also have a slightly better chance with another fight. Kander, do you really want to argue with a dwarf? I no, I like tried. I've tried with these. They try. They they try often. Look, actually, this is this is dwarven honor that none of you understand. See, I cannot <clears throat> tell you how glad I am that you're here, even though you do weird magic shite. At no, least I, you understand. Thank you. We'll we'll leave your men to you, and would appreciate the, the guide. But uh, maybe on the way back, we'll just take a look. As okay. we're passing by. Yeah, make sure you keep your A and your B men, but you need to get rid of your C men. They're obviously not doing you good. I'm going to go send someone to get Derrett. That's a good plan. Thank you, Mayor. 
and she leaves. Probably the not the D men either. They probably don't have that many D. Probably not. Derrett, Derrett's a good man, though. Oh yeah, we have Derrett. He's our D man. I. Hmm. Don't let him hear you say that. Cudgel's going to go up to the uh, the bar and uh, order a order a round for herself. Nice thick dwarven stout that they keep on for some of the dwarven workers in town, uh, and is going to just take a long pull off of it. This could be my last drink. I figure I might as well enjoy it, even if I don't deserve it tonight. Bear in mind when you're there. You'll, if it does look like it's uh, not a good situation, you'd save more lives by coming back and warning us. I. Perhaps that would be the case. If I'm not back by morning, assume they're all bastards. I hope to see you in the morning. I, I hope to see you tomorrow morning too. And I hope to bring friends. Sounds like a plan. The door opens and the mayor has returned with Derrett. Derrett's covered in blood that he hasn't quite washed off his face, but the rain has kind of thinned it out, made it more of a watercolor on his pale skin. Oh, more of a dusty olive, but yeah, but on his on his, uh, on his skin, um, his clothes are pretty soaked. And you can see that he's kind of wiping his hands off with a bloody drag. Um, hello, uh, I hear that you need help going into the woods. I'm ready. A very sooth, fair knight. We need your assistance. Uh, and verily, your honor. fair maiden. I am here to help the can-do kender. In the very, very least, you must, out of all of us, you must rest, good sir, for yeah, you've been fighting and working and grieving all evening. It is what it is, uh, I suppose. Um, I will take you out, uh, for it is a night's duty. And um, unless you wish to... Th- Go out in the morning. <laughs> we could probably wait, I think, for the I morning. I don't think that's a good idea. I'm not sure how much the rain will wash away any traces of, if there even are any. Yeah. Um, we should if there are traces that would be washed away by the rain, then they have already done so. <sighs> and we would be moving it at night. Let the Godfrey, Kalara, all of the people from Vogler deserve, oh, deserve to at least attempt sleep tonight. Also, don't, don't you not see very well in the dark there, Godfrey, you and Kalara, the, the human folk don't really see well, and we'd want to keep our cover without using any sort of form of torches in, in the nighttime, it, you would become more of a hazard in the underbrush. I am... No offense or anything, but it, it's just state in fact, I knew several humans that would, you know, when I was going along with Ispin and stuff, it, I... he'd always say that we, it'd be better to wait if we could for light. I'm of two I'm of two minds. I don't like cudgel going alone and I don't understand the dwarves. I if we can prevent cudgel from losing their own life, what, why would we not go along? Hazel, can you I respect the dwarves and I respect their decision, but I I, I'm having trouble accepting just letting somebody walk to their potential death. If we... I, I know um, we would not have the element of surprise, but if we did go now and take a look to the west of the camp, we could at least check up on Cudgel on the way back. 
let him satisfy his on or her honor. Sorry, let her satisfy her honor, but still look out for an ally. Is is Cudgel still within hearing range? Because I might have missed. She is downing her second beverage at the moment. Cool. Um, I am still going to use a uh, message um, okay. to. Uh, I'll use message to Godfrey and 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 uh, actually I'll use it to everyone because it can trip. <laughs> oh. <laughs> message, um, and just say, um, the Godfrey's plan is what I was hoping to do. And just kind of leave it like that. Like you guys can answer back in message, but hmm. that's the gist of it. So what's the plan? The mayor says, are you going tonight or in the morning? Let's go tonight. No more surprises. Or at least try and get ahead. We might not find anything, but... Yeah. We go tonight. If all we are doing is following up on a lead rather than getting the drop on this potential enemy mercenary camp, is it not wise to let our wizard rest? I don't Indeed, know much about everyone. those. I don't know much about the the, the um, magic. Because the lead to the arts. rest of the camp will be there. But if there is a good reason why we must make haste, then I will come along. I will come along regardless of what is chosen. Well, um, I'm happy to take you out there right now. Um, we can get a lantern or some torches and stick to the tree line, you know, see if we can find anything that way. Those of us with the ability to see in the dark can stick to the edges to make sure we're not all just a single group ready to be attacked. I'm, I'm, I'm quite good at uh, staying a little bit unseen so I could potentially go either ahead or side and keep an eye out up ahead. You and I will be the decoys, Derek. Excellent. Uh, I look forward to it. Besides, the moons are pretty bright tonight. Um, at least the two I can see. Um, even with the, the rain, like they're, they're peeking through the cloud cover, so we should have some light. It won't be terrible. But if we're going, we should go before it gets much later. It's only... It's not true night yet. Yeah. All right, let's go now. Okay. Yeah. Cudgel? Hey. Part way. <sighs> she sets her tankard down. Time to find some answers. And with that, you turn and head out. Uh, are you taking your horses with you? I'm not. No, that's not going to be stealthy going through the woods. <laughs> yeah. All right, sounds good. All right, so with that, you head out and make your way to the north toward the mercenary camp. And we're going to take an early break tonight, folks. Um, so we'll be right back in just a minute where we'll figure out what's happening from here. Don't go anywhere.
Hey everybody, welcome back. This is the part of the program where we talk to the chat. Um, yeah, uh, so yeah, Christine's feeling real under the weather. I was just checking in with her and it's uh, it, it's not great. Uh, so if I seem a little out of it for the next couple of minutes, because I was I was checking on her and giving her giving her some help. But thank you so much for being back here. Um, so anyway, this is the part of the program where we talk to the chat. And um, yeah, how's everybody doing? <laughs> Happy to be back. Happy to be back. Uh, Folks, we're going to be doing a draw for a set of dice from Norse Foundry. Um, Eric from Norse Foundry, Noise Foundry, Noise Foundry, uh, from Norse Foundry Noice. reached out to me and uh, um, told me that on top of all their generous uh, gifts to the channel uh, on the previous Dork Tales uh, Dragonlance streams, that there were two additional sets that they were going to give us. So uh, you have your chance to enter to win those uh, right now by hitting exclamation mark Norse. I'm going to do the draw in about five minutes timer yep set a timer it's going to be at 8 33 p.m i'll give you i'll give you a six oh so that's five minutes now that's five so minutes. <laughs> all right so uh, a couple of quick stipulations about this number one to get the actual physical dice you need to live inside of the united states however you'll get them super quick because if you go to our discord you can see the dice that other people have won and received in like days it's ridiculous. Um, if you live outside of the United States and win the contest, then you will instead get a gift certificate uh, for a for an amount that will be determined later. I'm not certain what it is. I think it's... I'm not going to speculate. But um, they'll, you'll get a gift certificate instead. Um, now, unlike the last time, we only have two specific sets that we are giving out. So you're going to get one of two random metal sets. Now, I've got to say, though, these sets are pretty great. Um, in fact, we have Dork Tales sets, as you can see here they say dork tales oh, yeah. dork tales set nothing happier camera. than rolling dork tales on that so right. uh, exclamation mark norse in the chat right now and yeah one gazillion monies <sighs> how are you folks doing though it's so good to be back for dragon lance i i really I miss really, it. really good I, I'll admit I got a little confused with the talking, so I'm glad everyone else made a decision because I was very confused what was happening at, out of character. So I'm glad everyone else made the decision. <laughs> but, well, was it just the role playing or was? Oh, I just thought I thought in my head, I thought cudgel and said that we were going in the morning. So I was like, cool, everyone gets a long rest. And then it no, was, was like nighttime adventure. I'm like, cool, fine. It's, that's cool. I was just not paying attention as apparently. I thought I heard well, my, I my robe back. I, want to, uh, I mean, I, I was expecting Cudgel to just want to go immediately, and whether or not we were going. <laughs> I, Hal just killed me with the, the <laughs> elven magic thing. The elven <laughs> like, mind melt? It was, it was beautiful. Acting. Like, uh, <laughs> acting. <laughs> you know, when uh, we yeah. started, I was like, am I going to be able to capture the character that I've been trying to portray? And then it just, boom, I was right back into it. Yeah, no, it was. <laughs> it's like I don't no, even remember what he's supposed to sound like. <laughs> yeah, I was like, it's so realistic. That I believe fun. it. That was fun. It was, it was good. Good yeah, elf. Yeah, that was a good. Good elf. Good night routine. Your classic. <laughs> good elf. Good elf. Good yeah. night. It's like bon <laughs> bad elf, good it's night. Like bon bad elf, good night. I like that. <laughs> oh, um, that kind of night. I was like, I'm like, what do you mean, good night? It's a good but, night okay, for a it. bad night. <laughs> oh my god, no, that was that was real solid. <laughs> um, but I also want to thank everybody for for their patience. Um, there was nothing I wanted to do more than play Dragonlance last week. Actually, like I love the momentum. I love the mm -hmm. the the gameplay that we've had so far. And missing it because of illness was real rough. Um, and, like uh, th chat, for... he was Kelly was really trying to do this. Like we were we were so getting hard. in costume and makeup. Like he was trying to fight it through until the last possible second. And then he sent us a video of of what he he looked like, and it was yeah. like, dude, love ya. Like, but no. You <laughs> yeah, sick so Kelly, you so, look oh sick, and I don't mean that as a compliment. Sick. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you want to see my? Well, it's like. Yeah, I don't know if you can tell, but thanks to Ping's high definition, um, like, I'm looking real good tonight because I literally have lost 10 pounds since the last episode. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. have not. Like, literally what? on the scale. Yeah, I've lost 10 pounds from this. Like, yeah, not in a good, not, like, not, not in the best I mean, way you could, but... Like, 
I, I gotta yes. say, even with ping, like I'm looking at this at a distance, I'm like, this looks good because you can't see how like my, my skin's not great right now, but I'm just yeah, far enough away you can't see that. Yeah, um, I got food poisoning, did not lose as much, did not lose much weight. It came back and like- To be fair, I'm a much bigger person than you. So I've got a lot of extra, like an extra room to lose that. Like, yeah, like I've, I've got like a, almost like a hundred pounds on you. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, by the way. You're like I five, four. Lady Liliana. No, I meant like late, like to the food poisoning. Cause that is a hundred percent my bad. Yep. Well, it's it's not food poisoning. Wait, it's wasn't normal. it Traz that tried to poison you all? It was Traz that tried to poison us with the with the yeah. Norwalk. Oh yes, of course. Yeah, of yeah course. that's right. It's it's Traz. Or pardon me, the Nor Hop because he only has one leg. Ah oh. yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I think all Traz right. went to bed otherwise. Oh damn. Um, all right, oh, no, so nope, there, oh, no, there. No, Traz is there. All right, oh, so redeeming folks, him. It is a hydrate. Time for so many hydrates. Hydrate. It is time for the draw, everybody. I'm getting everybody. to refill my water so uh folks this is your last chance i'm gonna give you 30 more seconds to, to hit exclamation mark norse if you do not respond um within about 30 seconds of winning uh i'm gonna redraw so you gotta be here to win and whisper to um kelly no or you'll, whis or you'll whisper to lady liliana when the time is right because when she's feeling better she'll take care of it um okay, okay. so uh, not Norris, Norse, Norse, not Chuck Norris. <laughs> At the top. <laughs> yeah, just like Prophet of Woe did. Okay, so we'll whisper to At Lady Liliana. Good job, Ender Squid. Come on, come on, Lemon Jello. You can do it. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna do this. Yeah. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Yep, I already mentioned that, Eric, the gift certificate, and we're gonna do that in five, four, three, two. All right, Cadabry has one. Cadabry! Cadabry's one of our sub subscribers, that's nice. Uh, and just so you guys know, subscribers, all of that, no no bonuses to this. There's ways you can do this where they get more points, more chances. No, no, this is a straight win-win. So Cadabry, if you're still here, say something. Say something, Cadabry, I'm giving, or I'm giving up on you. Oh, there, there we go, are. there's Cadabry. Immediately. Bye. All right, so Cadbury, you are going to want to message at Lady Liliana. Uh, what you're going to do is please provide La at Lady Liliana a mailing address inside of the United States, if you are inside the United States, uh, that these can be sent to, and we will forward that on to Eric at Norse Foundry, and we'll get you some dice. Um, yep. If there is a choice between two different sets, um, we will... Hmm. Yeah, um, so if there is a choice between two different sets, we'll give you a choice, but I don't think there is for this. Uh, so congratulations. Uh, however, thanks to, uh, Eric at Norse Foundry, we also have one more dice set that we're giving away next week. So yeah. I, hope you, I hope you come back for that. Lighting. Yeah. And so, if, uh, uh, at Lady Liliana doesn't respond right away, uh, she's just a bit sick right now. So, yeah. yeah. So, uh, there's a slight delay. I'm just going to quickly run her tablet back to her. So she has something to watch in bed. And I will be right back. <laughs> sure. Meanwhile, you guys chat about something fun. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Cole Drake. Uh, there, there is a bit of a delay um, yeah. between like the the stream and this. Like, I, I've got the chat over here and uh, looking at where we are on there. Like, if I miss something here because I'm looking at another window, I just like go onto the Twitch and I'm like, wait, what did I miss? I usually try to. Uh, uh... If, right. if there's something I want to comment on that, like we've said a thing, I I look over and I'm like, okay, watch this expression. Yep. Don't spoil wait the for thing. It. Yeah, right. Wait for the <laughs> wait, our, wait for, for the it. chat to react. Also, yeah, it's apparently while it's while one gold to. set and no. one metallic set. Ooh, uh, Prophet nice. of Woe. Yes, um, the game is the same time every week, provided we are not sick or sorcerer uh, sanguine. Like get some good rest. Oh yeah. yeah. Hope yeah, your insomnia uh, doesn't act up anymore. Yeah, 7 p.m. Wednesdays. What? The shower? That's fun. What? What's what? shower? What? I don't uh, know. What is baby happening? Shower. Baby shower. Yeah, so... We're going to have uh, the littlest dork. You've had a lag up to two minutes. Yeah, well, that's... what I mean, I get, did you give everybody actually like an extra like two minutes to do it off the clock? So, you know, I do my best. <laughs> Um, I mean, we, we put it at the top of the stream and give them it's, till it's, it's there. Through, you have a chance right? to, you have a chance yeah. to miss it. Uh, so yeah, the schedule. Uh, so just to give you a quick chance. So folks, guess what today I'm going to talk to you a little about schedules. Then we're going to hop back into game. So for schedules this week, this is my Friday for streaming. At least I still work the next 
50 days. Um, 40 days, 30 days. I work until my birthday, basically, at this point. So, hey, um, yes, yeah. which which is one month from tomorrow. Which is the why life you of this have a spa day. I'm, yeah, maybe. Um, so, uh, for streaming, though, uh, streaming, we are here tonight and we are next back uh on sunday with Spelljammer, uh then we are here monday well we're not here if you join patreon.com slash at the five dollar tier or higher you will be able to watch an advanced uh early access of our special guest game of um of strixhaven a curriculum of chaos the between season where we have a bunch of guests that are going to be joining um we've got oh god we've got char from tabletop titties we've got otheon coming to join us we've got uh we've got swole initiative joining us as well as um who, who else uh, bu -bu -bu, uh is it cat no it's um uh tabby cat, got tabby, from, cat. tabby cat and who's the last person it's it's someone great that i'm just forgetting because i'm i'm exhausted tabby cat. it's tabby cat and anyway a lot of great people uh and that's that's <laughs> jay swole we got Jay Swole. I already mentioned. I already mentioned Swole. And I'm I don't remember. I know Krista announced that yesterday, Night but Tide. boy, if I remembered. Uh, oh, and Night Tide, of course, Night, Night Tide. Tide. Sorry, I just had to open Discord. Yeah. Um, so and Night Tide, who is a great D and D streamer as well. So come and watch that. That'll be out uh, on uh, on Patreon on Monday. Uh, however, if you if you can't wait, sign up for Patreon. Uh, if you if you can wait, it'll come out in about three ish months um on everywhere else um other things that uh that can, will can, can be... i say, say thing can i say yeah. thing because yeah, i just saw on the uh the roll through uh, the the break there that technocracy is on the schedule Game it zero. is oh god i gotta remember so my excited. character's voice for that because it was real fun um i've also <laughs> i also need to work on my character's voice for for robin's game because i i was practicing it in the car yeah. today It'll sound a Is little that for like Rip. Panic at the Citadel. It's for Panic at the Citadel. I am playing a a real gestalt of a character. I'll tell you what, <laughs> he is he is a pastiche. Um, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, all right. So I'm, uh, I'm a, I am excited and terrified for that uh, game. For, for like not game your character. The... I'm excited for your character. I'm terrified for the game. <laughs> I'm right? gonna be honest, running right. it. Terrifying. <laughs> I mean, you like the outfit I got at least, so that was good. Well, yeah, I, that, that was great. I said I'm excited for the game. I'm I'm excited and terrified to run it. Um, I also I, very I, I excited. Rock those wheels. It's true. Uh, I am also very yeah. excited to say that I have three more games that are going on Patreon very soon. I'm actually going to start recording those for release, uh, and they are a Hunter the Vigil game uh, that is a different Hunter game than you will ever see in your life. I can guarantee that it is the weirdest concept that I could have come up with, and I think you'll love it. Um, then I have a Scion game that hopefully will be out in time for Valentine's Day on Patreon, uh, cause it is tangentially related. Uh, and then a, a Demon the Descent game, which is basically like you take like a Cold War spy flick and you throw in demons that are actually Terminators sent by a machine god that controls the future. That's a lot of plate spinning, but I promise it, it actually works. <laughs> and they yeah it's so good it's diversified i mean halcyon zeta have you been around here all i do is diversify my portfolio i i'm that's a D, &D player second you you do you run D, &D because that's what bring, brings people in <laughs> i yeah I, a D, D is a great hook to bring people in i actually really like it for my homebrew stuff i i enjoy the that's modules that. Um, I, I really enjoyed Wild Beyond the Witchlight. I really like where we are in Call of the Netherdeep now. Um, because the beginning of Call of the Netherdeep is super good, and then like the middle is kind of weird, and now we're at the end that I really like. Um, I'm loving Dragonlance. The beginning of Rhyme of the Frost Maiden was amazing. Um, but at the same point, I like I like writing. Like I'm a writer, so I like our homebrew way more, which is why I'm also excited to announce that presently uh, we have a brand new campaign uh, that is going to be probably in D&D. &D. 
we'll see uh, how the future shapes up in that regard. Um, but it's going to be a fantasy game that is set in kind of a Greco-Roman, um, Greco-Roman, Greco-Persian kind of island chain uh, called, uh, well, I'll tell you about it later, I guess. Uh, but you'll definitely want to check in on that because I'm probably going to be dragging in some stuff. Um, God, no, no, three, two, four. Um, I cannot confirm nor deny that I am working on exactly what you are talking about. Um, as a Patreon <laughs> bonus, uh, you know what? I'm just going to say that right now, folks. If you like Avatar The Last Airbender and you get us <laughs> to 150 that. patrons on patreon.com slash dorktales, I will start running an Avatar game. My cabbages. My cabbages. Secret there will be many title. cabbages. You're, you're, you're... Kelly put a message on the, the team Facebook thing and, and one of our team members was like so enthusiastic. And about someone who it, is I... very aloof normally too. Like they're normally like, I'm pretty busy. It was just immediately like all caps. I'm in. <laughs> I'm in my yeah. cabbages. Yep. God, the costume. Yeah, I, I, so I kind of want to be in that game, but sure. I'm also like, fuck. Yeah. It would probably run on either Mondays or Tuesdays. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see yeah. how this goes. I mean, off well, Mondays or Tuesdays. Uh, well, we I'm excited because I did back that book. Back. And then I, <laughs> I, I heard about the new I series grew schedule. I up watching Avatar, so I have, like, such a special place in my heart for that show. That's true. There's just It's just going to be all blue people. It's just going to be all blue people. <laughs> and then the Dragonlance Nation attacked. <laughs> and then the Dragonlance Nation attacked. You must be uh, really excited for the new Avatar movie, then. Yes. Yeah. Has anybody uh, there's water that? bending in this one I hear. Mm -hmm. there, well, I was asking I was asking um we were gonna go to the movies a little while ago and I was like, so do we want to see the movie about a bunch of people in a kind of tribal nation where there's an attack of water people having to defend themselves? Or do we want to see the other ones? <laughs> of those that's out right now do we want the marvel one or the james cameron one right now <laughs> because this is mirrors oh, avatar just black panther that. too <laughs> like like they look they look like there's so much overlap well speaking know. of overlap um hmm. the avatar movies are kind of following an airbender element vibe right the first right. one was like had a lot to do with air Yep. Now mm. it's water. Now it's water. And the next one is... What, they're in like, a volcano? The next one is literally... I'm not even making this up. Hmm. There is a fire nation mm -hmm. on the planet that they go to war with. I don't know if they're red instead of blue, but the fire nation's going to attack. And at this point, it's like, James. Yeah, I, I, I literally man. saw that, that meme that was like, <laughs> really? Yeah. Really, You're James? Kidding, really? It's Are already named Avatar. Uh, Robin, <laughs> yeah. how much yeah. Avatar have you seen? Like Air Airbender, have you seen it all? All of it. Yeah. No. I I started watching with my cousins, and then I was like, I'm gonna fucking finish this. It is like my cousins got me into it. I honestly will say that, like, yeah, get us to 150 patrons. I will run Avatar. Um, Avatar is the closest thing to a modern Star Wars that we've actually had. <laughs> like. Like, just, like, the scope of the original trilogy and the scope of Avatar The Last Airbender, I'd say are mm -hmm. about on par for me emotionally. I think uh, <laughs> I think one of the favorite, yeah. my favorite classes in concept uh, for, like, uh, Pathfinder First Edition was the Kineticist, because it's like, you get to play a bender? Yes! <laughs> I've, oh, like, Shut oh up, my baby, God. I know. When I started playing, like, D&D, &D oh, and I saw literally, like, one of the reasons why I chose flame as an elemental monk, because I'm like, firebending? Waterbending? Right. What? Um, all right, last thing before we head in. Did you know that apparently unobtainium was not the actual name of the mineral and was a, just a nickname for it? But they took that part out of the draft, the final draft of the script? What? So the best joke of Avatar was just a script doctor bit. I'm sorry, unobtainium is the best thing ever. Whatever happened to unobtainium? Well, it was really hard to obtain. <laughs> unobtainium. unobtainium. Oh, God. It's so good. It's so good. Uh, no, it's not, but I love it. I love unobtainium so much. I want someone to make me an unobtainium award. 
Um, all right, what so it, folks, it is about time for us to that? head back into the game. Uh, are we still at 69 viewers right now? We're at 56. Aww. Join us. Not nice. It's not so nice. So the Dragon Lance attacked. The Dragon yeah. Lance attacked? <laughs> all right, the Lance is true. attacked. Where my lands? Right. Okay. Um, all right. So without further ado, I think it is time for us. No more ducks. No more Quack. ducks. No more ducks. Just, just geese. Okay. Just time to head back into Dragonlance. Shadow of the Dragon Queen. Here on the Dork Tales. Y'all ready for this? All ready for this. Right. Yep. Every time it hit. Don't, we don't have the license for that. I know. That's why I did like three seconds. <laughs> Gotta keep it under yeah. seven. It's true. It's true. Vine. It's Vine rules, man. Okay. Vine rules. There we go. Yeah. <clears throat> Welcome back to Dragonlance, Shadow of the Dragon Queen, here on Dork Tales. Dare it takes you out north toward the camp where the ironclad regiment is waiting midway through you separate from Kajal, who continues heading north leaving you there to begin to look around Derek takes you through the rain has lightened up a bit now more of a sprinkle but above you, you can hear the clouds rumbling protest at you. You find a small wooded area eventually, about an hour west of the village. I'd like everyone to make me an investigation roll. If you don't have dark vision, you're going to roll with disadvantage. Do elves have dark vision? Elves have dark vision, my friend. Basically, I was everything trying to make him, I was trying to make that humorous enough. Do you Kendra have dark vision? Like a meme. Oh, it's actually, like I don't literally everything. Do. I don't have. I don't have dark vision. Kendra's don't. You can either. also be the uh, <laughs> the. Uh, Kendra's don't. No. Or whatever. They're basically half. I rolled. Uh, uh, well, the meme was that everyone but humans had dark. Yeah, vision. that's, that's meme. Yeah. Meme. You, uh and Dragonborn. Uh, two natural 20s on disadvantage. What Are you shitting me? Oh I am my not. Christine this is amazing. I was just like, she yeah, blessed Christine. your magic rod. It's just like, thanks, Christine, wherever it's, you it's are. Kalara's love Wait, for God. Oh my, I just caught what Kelly <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, so that's uh, 21. Wow. Is this active investigation? Uh, it I is active 16. investigation. I got a 15 with this advantage. I'm going to use my determination to do 70. I rolled a, a 1, but I, I have minus 1 to investigation. No, no. Sorry, I rolled oh, a no. 2, and I have minus 1. Okay, Not a so natural an unnatural one. one. An unnatural one. Uh, an evil one. Okay. All right. <laughs> so... Um, as you are wandering through the woods using um, fishing lantern to kind of guide some of you who uh, can't normally see without dark vision, Godfrey is going to be the first person to see it. About an hour west of the village, in the woods, you'll find tracks in the mud, boot prints, and something else. Deep, clawed feet. Razira and Hazel, as you see them, you as well, are going to notice that these boot prints are coupled with these large clawed reptilian feet that... Well... You didn't get a super good look at the feet on those creatures, but the size is about right. The weight is about right. And they're leading further into the wood. winding north, kind of putting them kind of uh, parallel with uh, the side of the camp. Is the pace, like, the distance between each footprint, is it looking like a walking pace or like a jogging pace? Maybe Does it look like a large creature. 
survival eh? uh am i still disadvantage or uh not if you you're looking at them specifically and have a lantern on them so no okay yeah. i'll uh aid you on that oh okay natural 20 for 21. nice I got a 22 with not a natural okay. 20. So, Hazel, <laughs> I how have do a you... wisdom of plus one. <laughs> Hazel, how do you do this? Because, like, Razira, you're going to take a look at this and be like, yeah, that seems about right for the size of those things. But Hazel's going to have this inspired way of figuring it out. What is it? Are you just going to, oh, like, man. start like, um, pretending to be that? Like, plop, plop, plop. I think so, yeah. Yeah, I think Hazel's, like, stepping in all of the, the things and, like, with her 25, uh, you know, feet of their speed is like jumping from one to one if she has to, or or whatever. Okay. So as you continue your way out, uh, looking at this, you can see that yeah, these seem like the boots humans. These clawed creatures. They seem to match those strange reptilian things that you fought just the other day. I think that's our link. I think so. Follow? Yeah, let's... If uh, the rest of you are up for that, we know what we were fighting against last time. Although, I don't think uh, Arantios and Hazel these things are, um, stay back from them if you can. Yeah, they, they, they explode and turn you to stone if you get close when they, when you, when you kill them. They'll also keep your weapons. These well, are not my original daggers. Well. Does it keep them even if they don't stick in? She has her hammer. Well, you guys hammer might do well. Daryl, oh. lean forward. What's going on? We, uh, uh, remember when we arrived, we brought those, uh, those deceased knights with us? Yeah, absolutely. They, uh, they were killed by these strange creatures, um, that we ended up fighting, and they, uh... Strange creatures? Uh, like, like a lizard on two legs, and, uh, wow. they turned to stone. Uh, when they died, and uh, they got one of my swords stuck in it, and till uh, the uh, the uh, uh, Orantiros um, uh, helped uh, fix it with uh, his elven magic. The it's um, but they uh, they also um, when they passed, they I don't know what it was, but if you were close to them, you, you might turn to stone for a bit. It happened to hit, uh, to, uh, Razira. Oh, heinous. Razira. Um, I was just wondering, since, um, we aren't doing a long rest, and you said there, there was probably been about an hour, could, could, could we just have retroactively done a short rest at some point? You could have done that inside well, of the tavern, absolutely. Yeah, cool. I just want to, because I, I am, I am low on hit points, so I would like to use some hit dice um, before we continue on, because I'm gonna. Sure, I, that, that's, that's fine with me. And if anybody wants to heal themselves up with uh, short rest, perfect. I am going to do that for sure. Okay. I am fine. Um, sorry, my mind's going a little blank. Um, totally. Did. Has has Cudgel left us? Cudgel, Cudgel has broken off from you, yes. Okay. Okay, cool. So um, you are probably about 40 minutes past where you broke off with her, is when you found these tracks. Okay, awesome. That's what I wanted to know, because it was, like, if these tracks were closer to the camp, I'd be suddenly very worried about the camp. <laughs> no, 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 this looks like they they probably traveled some ways to meet with the camp. Okay. Excellent. Do we keep going then? Yeah. You were turned to going. stone, Razira? Oh, yeah. You mentioned I that. was, uh, uh, yeah, I was too close and it, it turned me stone for like a minute. Um, 
I forget it, so I forget if it was Clara or Godfrey, but they they broke it around my mouth so I could breathe properly. But uh, yeah, I was briefly stoned for a little bit. I've never been uh, stoned. That sounds awful. Yeah, it was not great. I wouldn't recommend it. I don't want to get stoned again in the future. Yeah, lots of dwarves get stoned. It's I think. Not uh, fun. I think. Uh, that makes sense. I think what we should do is. Um, a couple of us uh, try and, if we run into them, try and hold the line, um, stay forward, be defensive, and well, maybe uh, our own tears with the bow and um, Hazel with magic. Um, if it works like that, I, I, I don't know. It tries to uh, take them off from a distance. It'd be good if we could catch one alive, too. But Depending on, yeah, well, let's keep going then. Yeah. You Agreed. continue making your way north. Following the tracks, it takes more than an hour. The tracks wind, leading you from the woods into a rugged hillscape. And then, as you crest hills, glancing down into a valley, you'll see this. The woods give way to a ledge overlooking a shallow valley. In the distance, dozens of low fires illuminate hundreds of red tents. Along them move patrols of shadowy, human-like figures. As you stand on this precipice, a quick rounding shows that you're looking at more than a thousand soldiers. A whole arm. Fall back. Yeah. We need to tell someone. We need to tell Fall the back. town. Um, I, I'm guessing we have a lantern or light with us or something for um. Yep. Um, uh, I, I put mine out like right away. Like, like let's go. Like we can't. We gotta go. Yeah. yeah. Back. Let's go. If uh, we run into trouble, uh, go on. I'll catch up. I admire your your bravery, Godfrey. But um... no, I'd, I'd like you guys. To, sorry, uh, I'd like you guys to stick around and help a bit. But if oh, it yeah. looks like it's not going to be good, one of you who can see needs to get out of here and warn the rest of the town. Understood. How about we don't and worry about that, and we just worry about getting the heck out of here? Oh, let's go. Let's go. Now. Yes. Thank Of course, my my elvish friend. Um, I will take up the rear as I... We're kind of in a forest line, correct? You're kind of like right at the top of a hill, kind of looking over a steep ledge. So like, Is it still raining? It's sprinkling a bit. The cloud cover is beginning to clear, so it's going to get brighter in a minute. You can already tell, kind of just glancing up. Your your elvish senses are going to kind of focus on the clouds, and you're going to kind of get that ambient with your passive perception. Notice that the clouds are moving pretty briskly. You've got about 30 seconds before this hill might be bathed in moonlight. Well, then we must absolutely make haste. Yep. Pursuit. All right. With Whoa. That, uh, can I get everybody just to make me a quick stealth check? Oh, yeah, a... baby, I can. Group stealth check. Good, uh, sir. Um, okay. Does Mask of the Wild help with this? Uh, Mask of the Wild does not, I believe, because that's hiding it. Oh, actually, what is what is the wording on Mask of the Wild? Double check. Uh, it can hide in rain, mist, small amount of foli foliage, or natural you know, phenomena. It, it, so that's hiding. It doesn't really count for movement. Movement, but... yeah. Yeah. So I'm gonna like say that. I'm gonna say it does not. Uh, does not. There'll be lots give of chances advantage. to use that. Yeah, there definitely will be. Trust future. me. Uh, with disadvantage because of the heavy armor. So I got a three. Uh, twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. Okay, that's one. One. Okay. Nine for me. Cool. <laughs> Would you like to spend your determination? Will that help? I don't know. What if he's you? asking it generally, yes. <laughs> if somebody asks if you're a god, Hazel, what do you say? God of hammers. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. You don't, oh, okay, yeah, I'll uh, spend it. Plus Boop. six. <laughs> All right. What'd you get, Orantiris? I wanted to actually fail a roll. That was the problem. <laughs> Eighteen. You don't have to. I don't. I don't. I mean, you don't have to, but I don't Jen, know if you, wanting to I'm fail I'm going to give you three seconds to take it back, Jen. Three, two. No, it's, right. it's fine. Go. All right. All right. Cool. <laughs> and um, let me just re-roll because um, our boy would have disadvantage. And he did not botch. And that, that is the critical thing. So you've got the knights will fail. And everyone else will succeed barely to make their way through the woods, uh, meaning that you have a 50% party success, which means for a group stealth check, uh, you are going to make your way back through the woods. As you were kind I of think making Rizira's your way. going and like quietly snapping like the, the bigger like twigs for so like the, the, the two knights are trying. Like, that's how she's using her stealth is like trying to make a bigger path for them so they don't know, like make tons of crunchy sounds. Nice. In the distance, you can vaguely, or in Tiros, as you are heading away with your passive perception, you are going to see that a good 200 meters away from where you are to the south, kind of around the side of the ledge and a little bit further back, it looks like there's a small patrol meandering through the woods you can see a couple of torches it doesn't seem like they're headed your direction but you think maybe just they're just camp guards doing a quick night patrol everyone low profile we'll wait until the clouds are obscured by the moons again you wait You hunker down. Does it seem like they're coming in our direction? Kind of vaguely. They end up about 50 meters away from you, kind of meandering northward along the edge of the ledge. They have torches? They do, yes. Uh, it looks like there are, doing a quick count from where you are, you can see two human soldiers in similar armor and three hooded figures, like the ones that... Razira, Godfrey, and Kalara encountered. They pause for a moment as one of the human soldiers leans down and inspects the ground. Found a penny. <laughs> one of them will snarl. And then they'll continue walking north. North is away from us. Away from you. Well. Why do they get all the luck? I. What is a penny anyway? It's like oh. a very s small coin. It's like the lowest value. Hmm. Oh, that explains why I've never seen one. <laughs> But I'll take your word for it. It seems like they were just doing their their rounds, but Razira, did you see as well? They one of them I know they kinda look like the the things that Godfrey and I thought that a few few days a day ago, a few days ago. Like it, time is a weird soup sometimes. So an army of men and lizard creatures. folks these creatures are are moving and if that's their camp we we might not have until morning no it probably depends on when they that's not just a raiding party either no how how could they have a metal? It is not up for me to determine how or why they're there, but they are there and we must let the, we must go to Vogler at once. We should definitely check up on Cudgel. Yes. If uh, the mercenaries oh, are- Cudgel and, their, and her men, I- <sighs> If they're, if Cudgel's there and the uh, mercenaries are still loyal to her, they're gonna get slaughtered. 
Absolutely. I think everyone's going to get slaughtered. There's a thousand soldiers there. Fogler's pining. We need to go. Yeah. Yeah. Kajul, Kajul said that she'd be back in the morning if they were loyal to her. We they might not have until morning. morning. She won't have that time. Our loyalty should be to Vogler first. Those That's of you true. Who, the those of you who Kajul need light, their men are, go. go. Sorry, go ahead. So. <laughs> those of you with lights and who need light to see should go back to Vogler, warn them, start the evacuation of the town. It's going to take longer. Mm. Yes. I, I, think I that's, can get... We should do that. If I can get close enough, I don't have to go right into the camp. I can talk have, to Kajol from outside. And they'll have better luck being thing. successful without us uh, making magic? so much noise. Yes, with magic. Okay. Well, we only need one trustworthy knight to to head back to Vogler. Correct. Who were you saying that should go back by themselves through the middle of this? They've already got patrols out. Oh. Stronger together. Then we should not split up. I, are it's we able to... basic night training 101. You never spill at the party, friend. Hmm. There's no time for debate, but the town needs to be evacuated. It's going to take longer. Yes, the three of us will go. You two should go to cudgel. At yes. least warn her. We won't be long. We'll be right behind you. It's it's not too far off. If if there's signs that they weren't loyal and it's it was a lost cause, we'll just go. We'll we won't stay and try to do anything at that point. Agreed. But if they're loyal men, then we need to warn them. They can probably help the city evacuate as well. Exactly. Strong men can help the women and children that might be a bit weaker in town. Exactly. Go. I was set to guide you if you are deciding that we must go by the mercenary camp I can take you by that way because I'm the only one here that knows where it is and if the effort is in evacuating the town cudgels loyal the camp I might have horses what, what, why are we debating? Why? Why? I thought, you're I thought going. we talked about this. If you're going to follow, follow, and Hazel's going to take off into the forest. Yeah, you two nights with me. You don't know Wait, where ha you're going. Hazel, you're going the wrong, the wrong direction. <laughs> Bugger and blast. Don't just let her. We were actually kind of told Bill. where the camp was. That's what Hazel was basing <laughs> this on. No, you were told they were north. <laughs> north ash. So, north ash. <laughs> hmm, okay. Oh, she'll... Don't worry, she'll... Hazel probably she'll doesn't know how much north exists out here. <laughs> She's never really been outside. It's really of true. She the doesn't. Mountains. So, all right. So, uh, you all head out, and uh, Derrett knows where it is, roughly. So, you'll be able to make your way up to where the camp is. And after a fashion, you'll find yourselves at the edge of a mercenary camp. Could... There. Well, I was just wondering, because I thought what we were trying to say is that some people need to go ahead to the town. Would would Derek be able to tell, point, like, Godfrey and I in the direction of the town? Uh, from where we are? Derek is pretty adamant that if you travel separately, you'll probably die at this point. Okay. Um, also, my plan is to get to um, however far away I have to do message. 120 feet. Um, yeah. Uh, but, Razira, if you really want to push, you can try to persuade him. I thought what we were trying to do. Um, to split up, to, to give advance warning, because it, it... From what it sounded like, well, it sounded like the camp like... was like we did a, 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 a 
two sides of a triangle yeah. and like the quickest way back would be the, the hypotenuse you know yeah yeah an, an army that size can't move that quickly without being noticed checking out the camp we might be able to get some horses and get back there faster anyway I, I think mm -hmm. if we stay together and go to the camp take a look and then head back we'll still be able to we might actually end up there faster if they have horses we can borrow Agreed. I mean, I agree. All right. Hazel's gonna try to go. Like she's. Mm. I'm assuming done that you're kind of like moving as you're talking. I'm assuming you're not like squatted and yeah. talking about this. Yeah, yeah. She was basing the whole argument on the idea that she knew where the camp was, or mm. like I knew where the camp was. Totally, totally. So. Totally. Um, so Mostly After... she just didn't want the knights being super noisy and not able to see in the dark and alerting patrols. Mm. So, you know, life. <laughs> Cutting a swath back through the woods. It Night takes life. you a good hour and a half of walking, trudging through the woods. The rain is cleared up and it's definitely true night. The moons are high overhead as you make your way to the edge of a clearing. On the other side, you will see that there is um, about 200 feet in the distance, the mercenary camp, fires blazing into the night. All right, made it. Doesn't look like anything's happened here. It doesn't perhaps, seem to. perhaps. They've gone unnoticed by the army. We need to find Cudgel. Yeah. Yeah, message Cudgel. I asked some of them for the help for the town. I'll see what I can do. And I'm going to uh, try to stealth closer. Okay. Go ahead <laughs> yeah, and make stealth. stealth. Uh, Natural 20. Natural, Natural Okay, so See, you're going to be... this why I to roll earlier. I've been rolling so goddamn well. <laughs> okay, so you're going to head up, make your way, kind of crouching, keeping low to the ground, um, not letting your robes trail in the mud too much, uh, and you're going to get to a place where you feel comfortable casting the spell. Cool. Um, yeah, I'm going to use my uh, last sorcery point for um, subtle spell anyway. Mm -hmm. because I don't want to alert anyone in this night. Um, and, uh, yeah, cast message um, to uh, Cudgel, if Cudgel lives. <laughs> All right. Uh, what do you say in your spell? So you get 25 words. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, I'm trying to think of how to phrase this now. <laughs> mm. Words. 25, 25 is both more words than you need and less words than you think you need. Right? You it's, that, it's that weird, like. Yeah, you up. <laughs> um, uh, actually, going to start with. Um, this is Hazel because um, I don't think <laughs> there's. It'd be weird to just get a voice in your head. Um, dearest cudgel. <laughs> dearest cudgel. Um, love Hazel. I write to you on this day <laughs> to inform you of. <laughs> right. Um, so, yeah. Uh, this is Hazel. Um, is everything okay? Uh, there is a large army um, that we need to warn the town about. Okay. Uh, your response will be understood. Things are well here. At least as well as can be expected. 
We'll be back at Vogler at dawn. Um, and I will not. Uh, no, if if th if this camp is fine, and if they haven't been discovered themselves yet, mm -hmm. then it's fine for me to um, to risk casting another quick message um, with. Um, Stay safe. See you at dawn. Okay. I... I'll do my best. Alright, with that... You, uh... Head back down. And this was a little a ways away from the group. Yep, yeah. you're about you're about an hour north of town at this point. So she's going to be able to to head back to you. She she made it about probably about two hundred feet to the north. The Hazel's come back to the to the group. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So, cudgel, living. Living, alive, and well. Aware They'll, of the situation? Aware of the situation. We'll be back in town, town by dawn. All right. In and out. Quick. We did what we came for. Back to Vogler. Yeah. All right. Together, gathering yourselves forth, you head down to Vogler soon as you make your way inside of the town uh, one of the town guards that's still up and on their feet is going to see you coming through the front gates oi who is it oh it's you uh, the mayor wants to see you as soon as you can uh she's still at the breast crab well, we want to see her as well where's uh dim uh dim becklin uh, probably with her, or maybe it's uh, maybe back at Thornwall. Uh, you're right. You look like you've seen a ghost. Stay on guard. Possibly worse. It's been a long day. All right. Soon enough, you'll find yourselves inside of the brass crab again, and basically the moment the door shuts, uh, the mayor is on her feet. Uh, Becklin is sitting at the table there again, and so is uh, is Sir Levna, um, looking at uh, various plans and looking at um, figures on the table. As soon as you open the door, they pause their conversation. Mayor Raven jolts to her feet. What do you see? What what happened? What? An what, army. What? An army. We've got a lot bigger trouble than we thought we did. And it's and don't look like over a thousand at, uh, soldiers oh, a th a th two thousand. hours outside of town. Uh, some town, of those creatures yeah. and men. The the creatures well, we that we need found to on the, the here. town like yesterday. Uh, evacuate. Cudgel and her men are fine and we'll be back by dawn. And it seems like these are the people that paid off part of the mercenary group. No, 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 no. Yeah. it's... Okay. No, we... I need to know exactly what you saw. You said a, a thousand plus men, an army that close to our door? I. We walked around a bit in the dark and went and you, over this hill and the down... Are you sure the you saw what you were looking for? Like, you sure you, you didn't just missee it? I mean, uh, hundreds of red tents and Madam. torches and lots and lots of people and lizard folk men. I don't think I was hallucinating a war camp. My eyes do not deceive me. And what all of us have seen with our own eyes was an army beyond the ridge. We're going to need to know more. 
I, I'm gonna need to know more before I declare an evacuation. Well, can we at least prepare? Need? Do you want their names? We could go back and ask their names, but I figure it would be better if we had time to get Razira. everyone out. Becklin will just look your direction and give you a look that will kind of say like, let's uh, take it down a notch. Oh, Maybe gather the boats. Something to just make it easier if you have to make that decision quickly. We don't have to... And a lot of the fishermen are out already. It's getting pretty pretty late in the morning. This is going to take some time to talk through, and I'm not about to do anything that's going to jeopardize the lives of the old or the infirm or the injured. Which is why we thought giving you more time was a better option. I Thank you. I agree. And thank you for going out there. I'm going to see who I can talk to, who's awake and who's willing to be woken this late at night. If, but if there are a thousand... If Vogler can't... If Vogler can't handle more than a raiding party. We know. Less you now. Think... The door is going to... To open uh, mid conversation, and you're not going to quite see who enters at that point, as the voices were kind of getting loud at that moment. And you'll hear in the back, <laughs> Leave. I'm not about to leave. This is my town now. I'm not leaving my perfectly well acquainted mansion, as the large shape of Lord uh, Bakaris, the senior looms inside of the brass crab. Then you're welcome to die in it. There's not going to be any dying. You likely mis mistook something. Kendra are always lying. Makes only a bit of sense that you would mistake yourself. Sir Godfrey has sworn an oath to not lie. Where is he just going to walk outside? <laughs> I would think that we should just send an envoy. If there's a, if there's a, military... you're welcome to lead it. Perhaps I should. If you're so I... convinced that we're lying, you are welcome to lead men. an envoy. Hmm. I mean, I could definitely. We should send an envoy. We should head back in the morning, perhaps. Then again, I could write to, um, I could write to some of my cousins in Salamnia for a little bit of aid, in case there was a bit of a, a little bit of a snafu headed our way. And that would reach them, and they would respond when this camp was mere hours away. I mean there is something to be said about your words for yes, thank perhaps you, bargaining elf. for peace is possible though I do not know their motives I am not from these lands but it seems that they had did anyone make out any banners did did we see any banners or nope no unfortunately not at that range and they didn't have any really really held up at that point I will. I would like to point out that they did ambush and kill. Some of the creatures in that group did ambush and kill several knights. And if they paid off the mercenaries, I don't think their intentions are are going to be good. Hmm. Uh, I suppose. The, um. Hmm. Well. I mean, a lot of Salamnic knights and no more than brigands these days. Anyway, present company excluded. Men lost their lives. 
men and women. Yes, lesser men do tend to do that. Are you saying that should these things do what they did to those knights, that the blade would bounce from thine own skin? I don't plan to find out. I plan to negotiate like a civilized... Do you think the knights of Salamia that were killed wouldn't have tried to do similar? What do you know of Salamnia, you polynesty vagabond? Hmm. I know that their knights are honorable. I require a beverage. Innkeep? Barkeep? Wine. And he'll step it away from the party. It is a worthless endeavor to try and talk sense into a brain such as his. It, regardless of his disposition, he does hold power and weight in this place. And getting through to those that you don't like is sometimes necessary, Hazel. I mean, firebolt them. You. Or, or you could just fire both of them. Sir Backlund will lean forward. Dame Backlund will lean forward. I suppose that um, we will confer in the morning. What I would really like is for each of you to go home, go to your rooms, and rest. You look weary, but I need sharp heads before sharp blades tomorrow. If, I do not believe we were followed, but if we were followed and they decide to muster before daybreak, now <laughs> us coming back and giving the warning will have been for naught. I, uh, I'm as concerned how are we to sleep? You. Sleeping in the midst of danger is something that is a learned quality. It's, an unfortunate necessity. I believe you'll be able to find a way. I've heard strange rumors of armies like this. I expect the worst. There's a chance that they are just passing by. But we should not panic. We should ready. You are right. I will see what I can do to convince the mayor. The extra hours that you have given us is enough to begin at least the planning. Fogler is full. The old, the young, those who will take extra time. We also simply do not have planning an evacuation takes much time. The people have their entire lives here. Without a viable threat, the mayor's word does not have the weight. But we will work on it. The dangers you faced were not for naught. You did good work. We will use that. In the meanwhile, please rest, take a whetstone to the steel of your mind. If, uh, if I can be of any assistance, though, please. You will be let... one of the first that I awaken. Someone go fetch the Kenda before she gets into trouble. I'll go. And Hazel will go out because she is still pissed. I mean, oh yeah, get away from... Perhaps maybe I should just... And he's going to keep prattling at the bar and kind of like talking the mayor's ear off in the corner. Oh, and um... he just keeps giving these plans that are like 0% personal investment that makes him appear important. Well, I have men that we could send. Well, I have men that could I'm... do this. I have... <laughs> I don't know if I can do this, but I kind of want to cast deafness on myself just for just <laughs> to get myself out of the bar. The elves have something for that. It's called putting our 
fingers in our ears <laughs> and going la 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 la. Oh yes, the elven word for that is trillo. That, that's trillo. my um, uh, also how... somatic components. <laughs> <laughs> your somatic components, your verbal components are la 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 la. Can it please Somatic be that? Verbal, yes. I don't have on. any met, uh, sorcery points left, so I have to do the things. Oh, yeah. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'll go find so, Riz. Okay. So heading outside, the thunder is still rolling overhead. Razira, where are you at this point? Just standing outside? No, no, no. Riz went wandering. She went to probably the stables to find Ispin. Ispen? The, the horse. horse. We've named the horse Ispen. Right. Yeah. Ispen. So there's Ispen and Cookie. Um, and then we have one that's unnamed, but Riz's is, is, is Ispen. So she's going to go find Ispen and she's going to like. Make me an animal handling check to see how much Ispen <laughs> likes you. <laughs> Come on, natural 20. Right? Come on, natural yeah. one. <laughs> Well, that's a 19 plus 4 is 23. Not bad. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay, so the horse will... will um, there's some nearby oats and hay and um, even a couple of, like, like crab apples nearby. No one takes any sense of kinder. All we do is talk too much and blah, blah, blah. You listen to me, won't you? I can just keep talking to you, won't you? It's been... The horse will happily eat out of any any um, eat anything that you hand over. Got to get you ready for war, don't we? Or running away. If these people in the town don't listen. Outside, um, you're going to be able to round the corner and uh, and find her there, Hazel, kind of brushing okay. and feeding the horse. I almost lit him on fire. Oh, you didn't. That's a shame. I thought it'd be a bad idea and, you know, surrounded by alcohol and other people and witnesses. Mm -hmm. So are we not getting taken seriously because we're strangers or small folk? I think it's more the strangers part than anything else, but... Um... Becklin was the the other. Becklin is the, the the lady in Becklin? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, Becklin at least seems to be taking it seriously, but slowly, more than anything, she's going to try and talk some sense into Lord McDouche Nugget. <laughs> well, I guess that's what all we can ask for I just it doesn't make sense it doesn't make sense to me either at least start with the gathering of things but these humans seem to just want to talk honestly it's you gotta keep moving you gotta keep on your feet it's better for you Agreed. Oh, I think Ispen likes me though. You named him Ispen. Yeah. I figured he'd like it. Continue the journey. Seems like a good name. Plus, I'm pretty sure Ispen liked to be rode, so, you know, it kind of works as well. Is this one of those, uh, those horses that will, you know, just shit on command in front of people you don't like. Oh, I really want to try and teach him that. <laughs> I would really like him to take a big shit on on Barkus, especially mm -hmm. Barkus Jr. He's even a bigger Barkus turd than his son. Yeah. Yeah. So what's the plan? Are we just going to sleep and pretend that we may not be murdered in the morning by a thousand soldiers. Yeah, that sounds like a, about it. Hmm. I won't lie, the rest would be good, but... 
I don't know if I can sleep in all this. No, I don't think I can either. I just want to do something. I want to be moving and... Waiting is like the worst thing for kinder. We I've heard that. Dwarves seem to come in two flavors. Either waiting is an eternity or waiting is all there is. Mm. It's an eternity for you. In any case, I'm not going back while what's his nuts is, is there. I guess. No. no, I don't think I will either. He was quite rude. He's never met me before, and he just insulted me. Like, what? He insulted all of us. Yeah, but he really went at the kinder. It's like, yeah. okay, I get it. We do ha we exaggerate a little bit, but I have the town people in mind. I'm not trying to exaggerate. If I said like 10,000, then he, you know, you could probably give me a little, little bit of shit for that, but we I would were all saying the, the same numbers. We saw the same thing. But doesn't matter. Someone with more patience than I can try and talk him into not being an idiot. I was perfectly willing to take him out to the army and shove him down that hill, but <laughs> he didn't seem to want to go. Weird. Yeah, tan people that tend to flaunt their power around tend to sometimes be <laughs> a little bit, uh, you know, a little bit cowards or things like that. They will let many people take the fall for them. Well, it seems like we're going to get nowhere tonight, so I think the best bet is to spend some time with this bin, try and get mm -hmm. some sleep. Yeah. I think his back's big enough. I could probably sleep on his back. You know, do that, like, skin-to-skin -skin contact. That's good for animals, right? The horse is going to shake, just... <laughs> And not like a duck, but <laughs> uh, and uh, is going to just take a step away, kind of eye you. Oh, what you want your own space, you spin? <laughs> oh, all right, fine. I guess I'll go to my room, <laughs> give the horse a bit of a try and reach up and give, like, the horse a pet on the nose. The horse will accept it. <sighs> Alright, let's go. All right. Time to time to sleep a bit, I guess. Yeah. <sighs> Prepare for war or murder in the morning, one or the other. Hmm. When you head back to the Brass Crab, there's, um... There's nobody else there anymore aside from, well, I should say, the um, the annoyance has left. Now it is Becklin and, um, and some of the older fishermen who have not headed out or members of the council that are kind of sleepily approaching the table to discuss things. You're able to head in and get some much-deserved sleep, and despite the pressure of the morning and the threat of doom, you're going to be able to get your full night as the entire day's exhaustion is going to hit crashing down on you. Uh, everybody, go ahead. Refill your spell slots. Take your long rest. Done. All right. That was nice and easy for you. All right. So... Um, we said that after a long rest, I can change my face. Is that what we decided on? I forgot to. Sure, make it yeah, sounds that. good to me. Yeah. Cool. Then I'm changing to uh, full moon. Nice. What does that give you? 
uh, gives me shield once a day for free, and it gives me uh, moonbeam once a day for free. Moonbeam from a full moon. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's actually the spell for anybody who has uh, uh, is familiar with the module and um, and lunar sorcery specifically. We swapped that one out because they it was supposed to be lesser restoration, and I it's not, can't you don't do that. Cleric spell. Yeah, I don't need that in the canon of Dragonlance, so uh, right. we swapped it out for Moonbeam instead because that was the one they were going to use, and I don't know why they didn't. So, but yeah, I think it's that whole thing, like Five E trying to make sure that like everybody has healing options. It's like Orontiros is kind of avoiding yeah. healing magic too because that's kind of against the the canon I, of the myth, right? Like the healing spells all over the place and the Bard's spell list even. Yeah, right. So, yeah. If you oh. if you want to swap some other spells in for those, I'd be willing to be flexible with that. But we'll talk later about that. Yeah. You get some decent sleep. Or in Tiros, you only require about four hours of trancing. So in the morning, you'll all awaken to the sound of brusque talking out in the common area. You can hear Cudgel's voice as you open up head out I'm sorry all of it's my fault I should have thought better about the iron the ironclad regiment should have been under better control I should have done better the best I can do now is give you the full support all the troops all the ones I have left. I think we should do a peaceful approach. The one that's uh, backed by some spears. Well, we don't need violence. We need to make sure that everybody here is safe, the mayor says. It's my responsibility to keep everybody here safe, and I'm not about to let them... The armies need supplies and food. They don't need dead villagers. We could probably work Sorry something out. to oh. interrupt, but they attacked the mercenaries that we brought in, and, and your Salamic knights as well. They've already showed aggression. To back my... my friend up. Uh, there, there, There is shows of needless aggression there. If they were simply an army of conquest, them attacking knights traveling along the roads and them orchestrating the the coup of the they, uh, they attacked the unloyal. when they specifically knew people would be unarmed that they've already made aggression why, against their villagers and if coin is no object to them then the, their goal is not just conquest I I would love to agree with you but there's there's a malice in okay. in their goals you're right all right so fine the mayor will say so you think then we'll do this two pronged how about this? I, 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 I'm a bureaucrat. I don't understand battle. Becklin, you've been in a number of combats before, and, and you all seem like you know what you're talking about. We'll prepare for an evacuation. We'll start getting that in motion. I'm going to need your help with that, though. We're going to need a lot more boats than what we have. In the meanwhile... We'll prepare any type of diplomatic solution should something occur before we can mobilize. We've got your your mercenaries, Cudgel. Hi, you do. 
We'll get them positioned around. Now that the sun's out, we should be able to start making some motions. That sounds reasonable. Okay. So that's... That's good. And Cudgel, you're certain that all of your men are loyal? I, I, I believe so. I made it back last night, and she'll gesture to a man that's standing by the door, kind of a human man with a red beard and a shaved head smoking away on a pipe. I came back with, uh, with Javev, one of my lieutenants, one of the ones who, <laughs> the one who didn't betray me. Uh, I've got the rest of my mercenaries making their way down. They shouldn't be too long. Aye, they should be along shortly, Javev says. <sighs> Javev confirms everything I heard from you as well. I was out scouting last night when Kudrul came back. Some of my scouts... They were with me and I came across a large force to the northwest of the village. Much too large to be just a military, uh, pardon me, a mercenary band. You said about a thousand? I think we were on the other side of, uh, other side of the valley from you. Sure as hell look like about a thousand to me. Hmm. Well organized. Mix of humans, hooded people. Did you happen to notice claw tracks when you were out as well? Ah, I noticed some. Couldn't make sense of them, though. Never seen anything They're, that leaves um, ones like that. They're you? strange creatures. They, um, be careful if uh, you run into any of them. Uh, they'll turn to stone when they die, and uh, turn you to stone as well. I had a um, sword trapped in one of them when we ran across them on the road. I don't like the sound of that. Thanks for the tip. I appreciate it. And I believe that those of you that had fought them, the moment they died, they turned to stone and trapped your blades in them in their bodies yes they will immediately turn to stone and grab a weapon if you're lucky you can you can grab it out but um usually if you, you know you can try and yank it out but if not it usually just gets uh caught in there um yeah no we fought these creatures it makes it really hard to um prove they exist because the stone once they turn to stone it just kind of crumbles as well so there's like unfortunately no evidence once we take one alive oh. sounds kind of terrifying I'm glad I didn't come across any <laughs> well I guess I came across quite a few now that I think about it they're probably the people that were in the, the hoods that you saw as well. They're hiding their features. Mm -hmm. Well, I suppose we should probably repair. The front door will open. One of the town guards will come in with a little bit of a. Oh. Oh. Um. Mayor? We have. We have a rider at the gate. Oh, I go outside. The mayor will go with you. Striding up. Is everybody else going as well? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Razira's gonna going. try and... Uh, is there any... Razira's gonna try and hide around the gate. Like, sure. she's gonna try and stay out of sight. There's plenty. The river gate to the north is quite large. It's the town gate that you went okay. through at the beginning. So, okay. Uh, the one that's never been closed, right? 
like the one that's been yeah. like just wedged open by time. Um, mm-hmm. You can easily hide, but give me a high uh, stealth check just to see. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> What'd you get? I rolled a natural one, so that's going to be a nine for an ability okay. check. Sounds good. <laughs> All right, so um, you head to the front gates. Everybody is headed that way, huh? Yep. Mayor Raven and He's you just head... whispering, I told you so, under her breath. <laughs> you head to the north. Beneath the carvings of leaping fish etched into Vogler's open wooden gate, a human in black and red scale mail sits astride an armored warhorse. She holds out a parchment and calls out, Who among you speaks for this village? I, I do. The mayor takes a step forward. Unless somebody else takes a step forward first. I'll uh, step I will, forward with the mayor. I will step protection. alongside the mayor. Okay. All right. Um, as you uh, as you three step forward, uh, Razira, you'll kind of hide around the edge of the um, of the gate, and as you do, a bit of the old wood is going to give away the trim, and you're going to slip and fall in the mud, like just dropping your knee down and creating a big splash. The person astride the horse is going to smirk at your misfortune. Hmm. The mayor will approach, flanked by Orntiros and Godfrey, and accept the parchment. She takes a step back out of range of the rider and unfurls it. And both of you are going to be able to look down and read what it says. People of Vogler, by orders of Belafeon, the voice of Takasis. You will quarter the soldiers of the invincible Red Dragon army this night. Refuse and die. This is the Dragon Queen's will. Anyone who is looking at this from a distance can make me a religion check. Oh, that's a, a three. Three? Oh, you know what? Uh, you and Orontiros can roll with advantage. Cool. A solid 12 from a distance. <laughs> That's a 7. 7? Okay. 17. Perfect. <laughs> 11. 11? Okay. So, Razira, you're going to see that, like, the armor of the, uh, of the soldier has this spiral symbol on it. Like, this five-spoked so- spiral, each a different color. Red, green, black, blue... And, uh, and green, black, blue, and why am I blanking? White. Um, uh, Orontiros and Hazel, actually. It was are... 18. I forgot about Jack of all trades. Sorry. Right? Isn't it the best? <laughs> uh, as you are looking at this, you recognize the symbol on the messenger's armor is the symbol of Takasis the greatest of the evil gods, also known as the Dragon Queen. Um, This does not bode well. We will await your reply. Thank you for giving us time. I will address the council and have a reply to you shortly. Uh, Let's go. Does anybody stick around or do you all depart? Well, uh, I mean, is the rider waiting? The person go away. Uh, the rider is going to to ride a bit back, um, but is going to not depart the village. Um, can I get Orontiros? And hold on one moment. Uh, this... Okay. 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 
Orenteros, as you take a step back, you and Razira, Razira, from your position crouched, you are going to see that the way the way that Vogler is shaped. Uh, quick reminder of um, of the gate here. Um, so the gate is this road that runs through a, a steep hill on either side. On one side, it's Thornhill Keep or Thornwall Keep, and on the other side is kind of like a northern forest area. As you were looking at this, the northern cliff face that runs along the entire north portion of the, t the town uh, is very uh, very well forested. There, east to the gate, you are going to see that there are four red dragon army soldiers partially hidden in the woods, just keeping an eye out. Each of them has a javelin ready. Looks like in case you decided to attack their messenger. But Orontiros, you're going to notice that as soon as you take a step back behind the gate, and Razira, you'll be able to see it there. Um, Hazel, do you or Godfrey have a passive of 17 or higher? No. No. Uh, <laughs> My passive perception 14. is 11. <laughs> yeah. But I will, uh, I, I will kind of wait around the. Uh, unless I'm called back, I'll wait around uh, the guard, uh, the messenger too, because uh, um, yeah, I'm thinking more like. I don't want anyone on either side to start something. That's fair. Godfrey, let's um let's go back and talk. Very quickly just whisper that information to sure. Godfrey and the mayor as they depart. Just relaying that to them should make sure no harm comes to the messenger i i i'll be stationed will you be stationed out here to make sure that there's no trigger happy citizens of family members that were lost that may want to um take it out all right i think i'd prefer to have you in the meeting, but if you think it's best to stay out here, that's fine too. We do have guards posted here. There are a couple of town militia men who are hanging out nearby the gate, looking tense. M guards, militia men who just had all their comrades or some of their comrades murdered. Is this true? I think it's. I, I, I shall stay. I was oh, also okay. going to offer to stay, mostly because I don't think I would be of any use in the talks, but. Yeah. Me, me neither. Razira kind of has come back to the group after this. <laughs> and no one really takes Kinder seriously anyway, so I All right, they're quite brave. Stay out here. Need at least... <sighs> I would like at least someone to accompany me back. I, I will come back then if the rest will stay. This um, is your town, Godfrey. I think you... And your you first be at that war. meeting. Friends. The rest of you, keep an eye out, but keep the peace. Please. Please. We will. If they keep the peace, we'll keep the peace. The soldier astride her horse will smirk. And with that, we're going to cut back inside of the crab. Uh, Godfrey, as you are walking there, can you give me an insight check? I will try. <laughs> Oh wait, that's a d12. Sorry, wrong. <laughs> that would not help. Oh, that's a six. Okay, so this is making up for those two right, so twenty. You, you do not better. see Mayor Raven uh, dab at her face from the stress. Um, she is, she is a wonderful mayor. She is not designed to defend her village from an invading army by the Dragon Queen. Like this is well, like, in my opinion, she's pagan. handling it like a pro. She's she's doing the best that she can. And uh, so she will dab a little bit at her face, kind of wipe some of the dust and tears away as she composes herself. As she heads back, um, Darrett will be approaching the brass crab at the same time as you. She'll gesture. Get Cudgel. Get Becklin. Get Kalara as well, if you can rouse her. Anybody you can. Uh, yeah, of course. Uh, uh, post haste. And soon, before long, you will be once again back at the Brass Crab, sitting 
between Mayor Raven, Becklin, and Cudgel. We don't have any choice. We have to do as it commands. Or at least we have to say we're going to. What other choices do we have? I mean, we've got we've got the ironclads. We could bring them in. You've moved your camp just north of town now? Aye, not too far. They've got scouts in the woods. At least four of them, maybe more. If we... If we want to oh, move... Most... Hmm? So, Godfrey, please there's speak. There's most definitely more of them. There's most definitely more of them. We, I, I think... I, we need to find a way to get, the, get everyone out of here. I, I, I know there's a lot of... I mean, the, this is your homes, but this is not going to end well. They, they softened you up. They uh, they bought out um, mercenaries to kill the militia and soften you up because they, they're not going... They're going to walk all over you. We need to... Our primary focus needs to be to get people out of here and get them to safety. We're not going to be able to do something like that with those soldiers there, though. I hate to say it, Mayor. But as long as those soldiers are present, any attempts at evacuation will be seen from the from the hills. We also won't be able to get the ironclads in here to help protect ourselves. Godfrey? Yes. I need you and your friends to do me a favor while I make a distraction. I need you to take the soldiers out before they can report back. If we take the ones out from the cliff, from the hill, it should buy us time to do preparations for an evacuation. How do we get up there without them seeing us? I can think of two ways. One, them the northeastern cliffs. You can take a boat down river, land, and sneak back as well. Uh, excuse me, Derrett will say from the back. I, if I may, there is one more option. Oh, you can't be serious. He, Than is very certain the gnome flinger is safe. Sorry, the what? The Gnome Flinger. It's uh, kind of like a catapult, but it's a transportation device that the, the, the gnome over at Thornwall Keep is devised. It's um, theoretically very safe. That would be unexpected. <laughs> and it would put you directly behind where they seem to be stationed. Do you think you can convince your friends to use such a device? It would also be faster. Presumably um, it works. Uh, Razira is very brave, and I think we'll think it's fun. Uh, Hazel and Arantiros are a little more sensible and might need some convincing, but uh, I can try. Then we should bring them and talk to Than. They'll, they'll be more than happy to help. How, how do we land safely? Uh, I think that they can explain it better than me. They have some type of device that they've... I've heard them talk about it that should cushion the landing. Shall we? At the very least, uh, well, I mean... A talk could be good. If there's nothing else we need to discuss... I wish you the best. I'll begin making preparations. When you finish them, report here immediately so I know the state of affairs. The mayor looks absolutely green to the gills at the at the idea that you're going off to murder some people. Uh, but is keeping it to herself. She's learning. Be safe. Please. 
Yeah. Um, as safe okay. as a known flinger can be. Indeed. And I'll uh, salute and get on my way. Back at the front gates, what are you all doing? Orin Kiros just has their bow and uh, not out and aiming, but just ready and watching. Hazel is just kind of leaning on her warhammer kind of casually um, and just being prepared to cast something if she needs to. <laughs> Riz has taken out her bag of a thousand ball bearings and is in front of the gate, hmm. placing them <laughs> around a la marble trap style. Artistically, it, you're Artist an artist. How yeah. amusing. Your art project appears to be really coming together, the messenger will uh, say. I'm just trying, I'm... Uh, I'm a little bored waiting. So, you know, I just decided, you know. I guarantee, look, little I'm Kender, just, as bored as you are to be waiting in this pissant town, I am much more bored. Oh, you should really try the fish pies, though. And the fish bone skeleton hanging mm. things. It's a really cool town if you are here. I look forward to eating the pies tonight during the occupation. Well, I don't know if they'll be making pies for that. Do you want me to go grab you one now? I can go grab you one now. Certainly. Vogler hospitality. Riz is gonna go off to the fish store, buy a pie, and come back. And Make me a persuasion them. roll. Are you poisoning <laughs> this pie? No. Okay, then make me a persuasion roll, not a deception roll. Yeah, no, Riz is just a hundred percent. She's just being told to do that. Mm -hmm. She's just like, I'm I'm just and she's gonna get one for herself. She's really hungry, so she, she's using this as an excuse to get pie for herself as well. Kill them with kindness. So as you come okay. back with a pair of pies. Yeah, persuasion, that's gonna be a twenty-two. Okay. Uh she's going to look you over, and as you are reaching out with the pie, do you mind if I take the smaller one? I had a large breakfast. Oh yeah, sure. I, I I'm starved. So she takes the one that you didn't offer her. Um, yeah. And you know, I've always heard bad things about Kender, but I've always had good experiences with them. I'm glad that you're sensible. Ah, thank you. In the meanwhile, it's hot and it's good. I assume that your mayor isn't coming back anytime soon. So let me just make this known to you guarding the gates. Until mm -hmm. we hear back, no one is to leave town. So I put this little bird here. Visible. It's like a little a reminder. You know? I, it's very, free. very good. I'll be back later. Messenger, before you depart. Hmm. I will not begin to even assume that I would get any information from you, nor would I insult you with the attempt to do so. But the people in this town, they, they are innocent. And if they cooperate, do we have, do we have you and your army's word that they'll spare the innocent here. I cannot speak for my commanders, but I would assume that there would be no reason why we should spill perfectly good blood when it's much better served inside of workers and helpers. The cooperative should not be hurt. They're much more useful. From a matter of utility. 
I see no reason why they should be harmed should they submit beneath the Dragon Queen's will. And what is the what? Dragon what? Queen's will? Control. I await your reply. And I will return. Do you have a name? Nira. Do you have a name? Uh, actually, it's quite similar. It's Razira. Mira and Razira. I don't think I'll forget that. Practically sisters. They are a bit tall. Are you kinder? Would that I was. And she will ride off. Kicking the horse with her stirrups. Or probably kicking the her spurs into the horse to prompt it off. For a messenger of an army threatening to overtake the town. Pretty friendly. Who's that bitch? You'll hear from behind you as Levna approaches with Godfrey. That's Mira the messenger. I don't like her. The bitch the messenger. Yeah, they tend to be. All right, Godfrey. Uh, Godfrey, you met Levna on your walk back over. What's the plan? Uh, we should go and sp speak to Than. Who's Than? Uh, the gnome. Uh, in inventor, I believe. Uh, mm -hmm. um, yeah, let's uh, go back to the keep. They're still discussing other matters. Um, I'm going to look at Orontiros and just be like, did they all leave? The ones on the we hill go are back clearly to the keep. still there. They're, they're still there? They're still there. And even like, what? well, actually, with your passive perception, Hazel, you can't quite see them. But Orontiros, you can absolutely yeah. just go, oh, yes, they're right there. <laughs> That's why I asked Orontiros. I couldn't yeah. see them at all, but I knew they were. <laughs> they yeah, were Orontiros, there. they're absolutely there. There are, there are four of them minding the gate. So is there some sort of plan? Are we supposed to we continue should go back to the, the keep. gate? Oh, we're going to go talk in the keep. Uh, All right. I guess we'll we'll stay guard here, say the two militiamen at the front. Yeah, I put these ball bearings down. Don't let anyone cross them. Uh, Roger. You heard overheard our conversation, I trust. Y yeah. Do you believe that they will kill anyone who leaves the town? Uh, frankly, uh, your your elf, sir, uh, I'm not interested in finding out. Good. Let anyone else that tries to leave know the same. Yeah, absolutely. With that, you make your way over into the keep. As you do, you head up toward the top, where uh, at the top at the top of uh, Thornwall Keep, uh, you're going to hear the sound of banging, uh, some drilling, and just general mechanical work up there. The keep kind of looms over you. Uh, the large um, the large stairwell that kind of winds up toward the top there um, is just full of the sound of tinkering. Um, oh, this is not a good idea. What? Um, so, we we have orders. If you are willing to help, to um, possibly use the gnome flinger, get wait, behind. Wait, wait, wait. What? 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 Did get I hear someone behind. say gnome flinger? No. no what no, no, is the gnome flinger? The, the and does it watch flinger? Over and make sure that they are taken care of so that we can start evacuating the town and bring the mercenaries in. Say this fly. plan again. Words are not meant to fly. You're going to hear Say the sound the of a again. toolbox falling down the stairs. <laughs> I'll go first. 
Wait, oh, oh, I want to go first. Why? Right? Why? If, if no one's getting flung. I want to go first. I, so, Godfrey, I, I, I am particularly horrified mm -hmm. for the state of many people in the coming hours. What are you talking about? Uh, they want us to. Um, we've been asked to uh, take out the guards on the hill so that they can try and start evacuating the town and bring the mercenaries in. We can either try and go in a boat, go downstream, which might be seen, and then get off a boat, come up behind, which will also take quite some time, or uh, our good friend uh, Derek decided to um, suggest uh, uh, um, use, talk to Than and see if they have um, a, a, a gnome flinger. I, no. Hello? You'll hear Echo I, down the stairs. All right. The, hello? Uh, with that, a, um, a fairly androgynous gnome with shock red hair pulled out into uh, a pair of pigtails and kind of like tucked down beneath their chin, uh, wearing kind of like a skull cap with um, with goggles on it. We'll round the corner. Hi there, who goes there? Are you Than? In the flesh. You have a flinger of gnomes? <laughs> I thought I heard someone talking about the gnome flinger. I I want to use it so bad. Can we can we can we look at this thing and discuss landing? Of course, of course. Come on up. It's landing? all I was just up here I... tuning it anyway. I like to keep this thing uh. nice and set. I'm really sad that we didn't get to use it at the demonstration yesterday, but I'm kind of glad that I wasn't there. It's uh, I'll, I'll look at our interiors. It's apparently like a catapult. What? Okay. Uh, who's? What? I'm what? not. I'm not. I'm not going. I'm not. I'm not. Oh, you, Hazel, come on. You, uh, individuals don't, don't survive. Fly. We live underground. Kinds. It took me everything to get out here in the first place. Uh, uh, apparently, okay. there's there's a landing. Uh, what? Uh, there, okay. there, there's something to help with the landing. You, can, you have fan, to cast hammer fan. on these. Stop people. dawdling and come on up. <laughs> okay. okay. Riz is going to like run up the stairs. Oh, come no. on, dwarf. It's We're stairs. Out. Stairs won't bite you. They're made of stone. We're, come on. At least let's take a look at this device, Hazel. Of course. Think of it as an archi architectural you, engineering thing. Nobody will, Come on. Nobody will make you go on of. it. Can I roll and, insight on Arantiris to see if he's lying to me? <laughs> please. Arantiris, are you lying to her? Depends what her role is, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my role is 11. <laughs> Yeah, give me a decision. Is this an opposed roll? It's an opposed roll, yeah, if you're trying to lie to her. If you're trying to lie to me. I, well, you see, I... It's a little 21. <laughs> um, so yes, just a little, he just is a, completely... Un, un 21. Okay. He's just, just completely oh telling the truth. He would never, ever make you go... They would never, ever make you go on this. We've traveled together a lot. We're just going to look at it. Just going to look We're at just it. Just looking at it. And even if it works, you would never need to go on it. I'll go first. And when you see that I land and do like some kick ass flips in the air and land safely, you'll want to go because it's so fun. And you'll miss all the action, Hazel. You'll miss beating up mm. some. I'm not getting mm. it. We are talking. Go look at it. First off, Than, can this thing safely get us? Come on, I'll show you. Safely and swiftly get us. It'll get you swiftly um, wherever you need to go. But safely. will we be alive when we get sure. there? Yeah, mm. you'll, you're right. always alive when you get somewhere. Unless they're sending well, What about body. immediately afterwards? What? Oh, are you are you talking about crashing? Ye come on, come, yes. on, come here, I'll show you. So with that, catapults, um, people don't survive catapults. This is not a catapult. And with that, they're going to push the hatch to the roof. It's a gnome flinger. Uh, and with that, you are going to see what looks like a catapult with a much larger bay for you to like lay in. Um, and a number of steam gears and cogs. Oh my God. If um, it's down and no one stops, you're, you're jumping down a little on bit. the bar. 
like, correct me. Was that a person? It was flinging in the air. It was. Yes. Me. Yes, it was. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I. That kind of looks like a catapult. No, it's an elflinger. No, what? What? what what's your? So I, 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 fly. Nope. I'm, I'm so excited to get you up in this. I'm, where? Where are you headed? I guess. Um, you're you're headed to to. to, to I guess over the crenulations. Um, where are you headed? Into the water? No. Go first. Apparently. Oh, over there. We, yeah. Just See up those... on the ledge a, a little bit uh, into oh. the forest. We're trying to. Uh, there's some people watching over the town that. Uh, oh, we well, that's need nice. To, um, uh, oh, not bad people. Way. But they're watching over the town. To make sure nobody can escape before the army gets here. Yeah. There's an army coming? Coming. Yeah, There's the people who paid off the mercenaries to try and it, it, it's a t- talk to the mayor. But I'm talking to you. Or back then. Um, Riz, get off of the. It, no, no, no. You don't know if it's no, ready. No. Stop. She's got it. She's I, got it right. Um, did you say you're worried about dying? No. Yes. Oh. I I worry I'm about her dying. dying. Yes. Oh, don't worry. I've got these. I'm worried about flying. I've got never crashes. I've got I've got five of them actually. Uh, one for each of you. Levin is going to look at this thing. That's a catapult. I know a catapult when I see a catapult. It's a catapult. It's a catapult. Here. You just have to put stones in it. Stones fly. What are stones you don't fly. Nary crash. Nary yeah. crash. Uh, and they. Nary isn't grab... never. Ah, Nary's almost never. And they're going to pull Fling. out this uh, backpack-sized device. Um, so it's a full backpack uh, with a number of like bolts and rivets and gears and pipes around it, and what looks like a drawstring. Okay, it's uh, easy. How many people can go on at once? Ah, I can fit all five. Come on. Cool. Um, how about Razira and I go first? And well, if it won't works, we lose the element of surprise. Uh, yeah, yep. right, right. Wait, wait, are this we? This is insane. Okay. Let me hear this. Let, let me get this straight. Hmm. The idea is to fling us directly at those guards overseeing the town. Oh, those guards right there. The ones in the fancy armor. Yeah. Y- yes. Hmm. Um, one of them of which is on a horse. Mm. And we stop them before they can retreat. I mean, I think that's more See, up to you I than think- the... The, no, I, no. I think we need to get behind them to cut off the their ground. avenue of retreat. Oh, you'll yeah. get to the ground. Um, but if you use a nary crash, you'll get to the ground a bit slower. It cushions your fall. And what if we don't want to get slower? You, we do. I, yeah, I suppose a... <laughs> if you're really attached to your leg do. bones, you probably do want to go a little slower, but... Mm. Yes. Oh. And, okay. okay, so oh. explain the mechanism of that of which... Oh, so the nary crash. Dying? Um, so if you fall wearing the device, um, you just pull the string. I go on. And um, these these great big balloons <laughs> deploy from the back, and you'll slowly go whoop whoop to the ground, okay, almost big, like big what what from the back. <laughs> um, think like a big sail. Okay. But then they'll definitely see us. No. Oh. Are you kidding? Us- have you looked at those soldiers right there? Look at the look at the neck guards. They can't look up. The armor's too tight. Okay. You actually think I am, that they might have a point. <laughs> I'm a hundred percent down for this. Uh, I want to go now. So but Hazel, you're putting on get one of off these things. The floor. Hazel. And get on here. It is going to be okay. There's if too much sky. There's perish, too much sky up there. If we all eyes. perish, I think that a mage here to defend the town and avenge our deaths is of great importance. We're not going to force you to, Hazel. But in the very least, let's hmm. see if we all fit these yes, contraptions. Come over here, Hazel. No, no, no. She, she's fine where she is. <laughs> Hazel, do you want to try these cool backpacks on? They have balloons. But sails? They have sails. Someone's going to have to make, for, make a persuasion roll. <laughs> I believe that I'm all over that. 
Yeah. <laughs> uh, Zira's go, or, give me the health um, action. Um, yeah, give, do you take that roll with advantage, Orenteros? Uh, Lev yes. is going to look over at you with just this like sheet white face, and is going to. I don't need to roll with advantage because <laughs> I just rolled a twenty. <laughs> And my perception, my persuasion. your perception is enough to know that you persuaded the hell out of this. Mm-hmm. And my two expertise are uh, persuasion and perception. Yeah. Nice. Yes. Um, Godfrey is going to reluctantly get one of the nary crap nary things nary on and step onto the thing. It's Beside really surprisingly Razira. springy, actually. You, you have the weight. The Razira actually is going to kind of like a whoop and roll into you like you're and, both on a waterbed. And he's going to look down at the shield and just be like, is this how how it began for Ispen? Maybe it's the is shield. Like, it must no, be cursed. This is one of his stories. Is is there a button that like releases it? No, there's a, there's a lever that's out of range of you. Hazel. Okay, but Razira's like looking to reach for it. Like you can see her hey. trying to grab it. Hazel, I'm gonna be you the know honest. that you know that gnome craftsmanship is inventive, but not as reliable as the dwarves. But once you try this dwarves this thing on dwarves, I, dwarves haven't had an original idea in 400 years, and that idea yes, is to grow a they, beard. But they are built. The things they build are built to last. The only thing that the dwarves build the last are other dwarves. That's why I know this one's going to be fine when they land. Can, can we just... At least try... We here. are wasting time. Let's go and kill some folk. Go, go, just try the backpack on. Just, if, the... just try the backpack you can do it, on. Hey, you can do it. You're brave. You are brave. You are so strong and so brave. Here. I look over at put the backpack uh, got on. You. And Levin is going to... like hand you the backpack and is going to reach out Hazel and is going to like grab your hand yep. here I've got you you're fine don't be afraid um, as she's saying that you can feel her hand is shaking in spite of her sarcasm <laughs> <laughs> like she is like trembling like a leaf from the elbow down and kind of okay. puts <laughs> We're gonna be fine, okay? Don't worry. Fine. Gonna gonna, gonna be gonna gonna be fine. I've got gonna... you. <laughs> and she'll <right>. just like <laughs> rush onto the thing. Um Fan. Mm-hmm. Oh, actually, Kelly, I'm gonna wait. Yep. I'm gonna wait until it gets launched. Okay. I so so okay, I I suppose we are all going on this, and you've tested this before, right? Arntira says as he gets on. Dan starts. There's just a high pitched squealing coming <laughs> from Hazel's throat. Of course, I Riz is like it. vibrating. <laughs> but I mean, you've tested it with living people. Oh, of course not. This is just like a story. Okay, well, wait, maybe we. I'm sorry, Maybe I can't hear you. Don't come over, friend. <gasps> oh, all right. Oh, and by the tell way, don't Kalora. forget to chunk. Wait, tell Kalora if I. Ah. All right, and with that, you are launched into the air, <laughs> flying through the air toward the dragon army from the gnome flinger. And I think that's what I'm going to call game for the night, actually. <laughs> that seems about right. That sounds. <laughs> Nice. All right. Well, so I think it's time for us to prepare new character sheets. Yep. <laughs> oh boy. I mean, as 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 I was telling the chat, I do in fact have feather fall, but that's for falling and not for flying. <laughs> this is true. It's not feather fly. Damn it. All right, you got <laughs> the, no. this was, this was what Riz was born to do. Yeah, mm-hmm. it really is. Honestly, See, I I knew the Ken- Kender would be all right with this. Yeah. Right. The Kender yeah, that's great. is fucking happy and wants to do this like probably 20 times after we we're done with this <laughs> it takes a while to so repack the nary, the nary characters falls. fall everyone dies yeah. i mean so everybody. now we all have to roll like some sort of use magical device let me take my old man 3.5 <laughs> monocle out do i have to no, roll some sort no, of no. will just, save good thing it's a charisma <laughs> skill yeah, <I'm> just, <laughs> good thing 
It is definitely true. Uh, so, folks, that's going to be it for us tonight. Thank you so much for tuning into this episode of Shadow of the Dragon Queen here on Dork Tales. I hope that y'all had fun. Did you guys have fun tonight? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it, no, an interesting great. mix of terror and... Uh, terror? Sorry, uh, slow rising dread. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. Um, hijinks. <laughs> Right? Slow rising yeah. dread and hijinks. I like that the module kind of punctuates that so that you get like a couple of different vibes throughout the night and like you don't have to um, just feel that dread. Like you need the modulation of emotion, right? And I, I think that's one I of the things about Dragonlance thing. that uh, you've got the horror and the like atrocities of like that there's this war going on and then you've got the heroics, but you've also got the Kender. Like it's <laughs> just the Kender. And the Gnome Flinger. And the well, and that's the thing, like I'm, I found a little bit of a struggle for this game being a bit more serious uh, and getting into the meat and potatoes of of war and and wanting to do Kender things. So that'll be a fun struggle for me. I know you complimented me on being playing my Kender so far, but mm. this is where it's going to get challenging because I just want to do shenanigans. Kelsey on Zeta, yeah. uh, I got to say, all those hydrates, yeah. So I can't wait to go to the bathroom again. <laughs> yeah, I had to sneak to. off to go to the bathroom. I'll have to put I'm a sorry. down on that in the future. Um, all right, folks, that's going to be it for tonight. Thank you so much for tuning in to this episode of Shadow of the Dragon Queen. Uh, you can definitely catch us next week on Wednesday night. We're happy to be back, so be sure to join us for more shenanigans. If you like what we do here, by the way, you can support the channel by sharing this with your friends, other people who like D&D. Share it with your enemies. I don't care. Um, be sure to follow us on Twitch. Give us a sub on YouTube. It's free, and I love seeing those numbers go up. You can also support the channel directly if you are so inclined and so able uh, by doing subscriptions here on Twitch. If you have Amazon Prime, you can subscribe for free, which gives uh, us a couple dollars from Amazon's pockets and not from yours. You can also, if you want the best deal, though, go to patreon.com slash dorktales and support the stream directly. This is a full-time job to run this many games and have these streams up and have these videos up and do all the things that we do here. And uh, every dollar that you give helps us uh, basically live a little better, have a little more time to do great stuff, and eventually do things like hire editors that aren't just me. Uh, so that would be really, really nice. Um, for just a couple bucks a month, you get access to a ton of additional content, including uh, three-month advanced versions of our new D&D podcast that's going up in the next couple of weeks. Uh, Jen is running a new game soon at the end of the month. Robin's running a game next month uh, that's going into regular rotation, as well as games like uh, a monthly random game that I run that is Patreon exclusive until uh, during that cool period, uh, and Strixhaven, a curriculum of chaos. And there's always more stuff happening. Um, if you do that, you can join the likes of our amazing patrons that I'm going to list for you now, the big, the biggest and best of the donators. Uh, first, my world building producers, Soul Omen and Shulton. Thank you so much for helping build the world that we are putting together. Thank you as well to my divine producers, DM Michael Gray, and my mom, Jan, who is also a divine producer, uh, to Bricarius, my demonic producer, to Tammy the Forever Cleric, the wizard of the Patreon, and... I love this. To my princes of the Patreon, I now am running out of... I have so... I don't have enough room on the post-it to remind myself, everybody, but I've got the Traveler. I've got Trezelta. I've got Cubby Gummy. I've got Amberthist, Buddy, Terran, Karasha Urquhart, and recently upgrading her membership, I have Raven with Bobbles. Thank you so much for all of your support uh, and for supporting the stream and supporting us and just for being amazing people. You're awesome. And... Uh, Please join them because at a hundred and what did I say, hundred and fifty, I'll start running an avatar game too. So, sure, why not? Let's do it. Um, so head to patreoncom dork slash dorktales and join them today. And uh, with that, I guess we'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye, everybody.